and chat we're indeed back with some more stuff some more games with some more uh react tech new horizons here as we begin the afternoon stream hello hey how's it going i am a bit early uh way earlier you know i took the friday off so uh that's kind of nice and we're gonna be playing all all day so that's gonna be nice too um is it clean clean room time i think it is i think it just might be Clean room time as well. Okay. Uh, without any further ado, let's do this. Uh, launch. And let's get into things. Yeah, I need more circuits though, uh, Smoggin. And we need more circuits and I need to create more machines as well. Before the clean room. The only thing that I'm concerned about is... Yeah, I, I really need to make the clean room because then I can get more circuits, right? Like easier circuits? Hmm. And probably EV circuits as well. It's probably worth it just to do the clean room now. Or or begin to. Uh, maybe I'll just do a couple more HV circuits, right? Just to make sure that I have the enough circuits to make the clean room. And then we'll build the clean room. Because it's going to be a big job. <laughs> it's going to be a big job. Oops. Okay, um, let's do this. There we go. So, clean room and, you know, just more power in general. Because I'm kind of like running off of like my steam and my diesel, right? And so I'm like kind of like alternating between my steam and diesel at the same time. But um, yeah, I really need to make a, a um, well, when we get the clean room, then I'll be able to make a distillation tower, which will give me more diesel. Uh, the only thing is that the diesel is only going to be temporary until I can make my solar tower. Uh... Which uh, I guess is when I get EV, uh, when I get to the moon, right? Th th then we'll have to make a huge whole solar tower setup. Uh, but until then, you know, so much black steel and polyethylene, polyethylene. If you're still planning on doing your massive one, yeah, I still am planning to do my massive one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely a thing that we're going to do today. I mean, we made a whole building, right? I still need to change the windows uh, off the green area. Mm, actually, maybe not. I was, I was about to say, like, I st might still need to change the windows off the green area to make a, a red. Because that, that's where I want to have my, my power centralized. But maybe, maybe we'll make a new building for the, um, the power when we build, build our solar tower. That might be a better idea. Hmm. So yeah, I'll need a lot of polyethylene and steel, black steel, eh? Hmm. Black steel isn't too expensive. Oh wait, black steel is different than dark steel. Hmm. Yeah, I have to check on that. <laughs> it is way different than dark steel. Okay. You know, before we, we begin here, let's, uh, oh god, I have so much stuff in my inventory. Uh, well, one, let's check our inventory. And also, let's check our mining thing. Yeah, let's check uh, some of that too. Okay. Um, random access memory chip. Do I, do I have, what do I have in my circuit builder here? Okay, okay, so that I can put it in here. Boom. Oh, we are full for this backpack. Oh, we have gallon marcenite dust. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we have some advanced circuits here. Okay, we, we have got some stuff here. Mm. And V-tier circuits. Okay, so I, I have the copper bolts. I have that. I need... Uh, I think I need circuit boards. Uh, this is for HV, right? No, I need transistors. Uh, how to make transistors again? 
Oh, silicon soul grade. Okay. You started your HV machine, line now, got a chemical reactor, extruder, mixer, assembling machine on it so far. Very, very nice. Yeah, that's what I got to do as well. Or I got to finish that. Like, right, we, we kind of like started here, our HV machine line, and we start like deconstructing this. We have a bit of our, our, our MV stuff here. Um, you know, that we're kind of like, like the laser engraver and stuff like that. Stuff that we're still kind of using, you know, like it's powered by steam. Still, right? How's our steam? Well, it's rising, I think. Um, but, you know, eventually we're going to transition away from that. Now I'm just going to clear all of this out. This remaining thing, then we'll be, we'll be good. Okay, more gold. Hey, hello, Mr. Skeleton. Okay, uh, if I have gold here, I probably would be, it would be good to get some, uh, stuff in my wire mill here. Okay, I've got electrum wires. Let's do, um, regular wires here so I can get some gold wires. Okay. Um, I have so much junk in my inventory. Hmm. Yeah, let's put away some things. Let's go get a, um... Maybe we'll need more ruby, so let's do that. Oh, I have gold cables here, eh? Can I, uh, can I just do this? Boom. My stone cables. This could put away. This can put away. This I can put away. Silicon I, I could keep. Uh, I can put these away. Because I'll need more ruby dust. To get uh to get some uh not gallium to get something that I totally forget right now. To get some chrome, that's it. That's what I need. I need all the chrome. Okay, iron three chloride, I can put that away. There we go, this should be good. Uh, might need to remake some new tools here. Uh, I guess like making some uh, some electric tools here could become nice eventually. But again, everything that I'm I should be doing right now should be going towards my clean room. Uh, right, enough distractions. <laughs> everything should be clean room time. The laser engraver and cutting machine will migrate into a clean room. Will it? Okay, uh, and cutting machine, eh? Maybe I'll make a second cutting machine. Um, and uh, an HV laser engraver. We'll do everything that's HV right away. Uh, just so that everything can be the same power source, so things won't blow up. Because I did something by accident. Or something. Is it here? Ah, uh, it's right here. It's right here. Is, is this stalled? No, it's got power. Is this still going? Or is this done? I think this is, this is done. Um, I could get the redstone here. Yeah, okay, let's bring all of this. And then I guess we'll... Uh, we'll go from there. Okay, boom. This is nice. And I'll grab the rest. I can put it in my my uh my stuff and then maybe we should move this too. Thing is on here okay, or, or magnet. Nice. Okay, and we'll grab this too. Nice. 
First, I'll be envy in the clean room until I get a HP circuit assembler. Oh. Okay, I see. So there's a transition. I see, I see. Well, I guess uh, I guess we'll do that then. Okay, so second piece of redstone here. I'm hoping to to place place this down. Auto up it, perfect, and boom. And then I just put cobblestone here. Uh, the other thing I gotta do is go back to the other place and um, unchunk load. Just so you know, I don't have like a bunch of chunks loading from like random places. There you go, covered by from the rain. Should be good. I don't think I need anything extra. Be like a, just a a roof like this. Okay. Now we're good. Um yeah, let's un let's chunk load here and let's unchunk load on the other place. There we go. Now this is going, right? Oh my god. Okay, it's already going. Uh, well, let's grab all this. So we'll come back later for uh, the rest of the uh, the stuff here. <laughs> the rest of the rubies that, that I absolutely need. Come on, Billy. Let's go. Power gen has to be outside the clean room, which is why you need a 4 amp diode to pass power into the clean room. As power gen blocks cause pollution, which would break the clean room. Ha! Huh. So there is a use for the diode then. <laughs> Interesting. I, I think there's other uses for the diodes as well. Uh, I haven't really gotten into that. But I think it's if you have like a line of like maybe superconductor conductors or something. Oh yeah. Chat. I gotta make superconductors. I think I can make them now. Um that'd be better for my some of my power. Okay, let me let me just do that real quick. <laughs> Distractions already. You know what? It is what it is. Already distracted. Uh the rubies can go here. Diamonds can go here. Very nice. Uh, we can eat some food. All of this stuff. Let's get all the uh, all the dust first. Stone dust can, whatever. Can go in here, I guess. You might have to convert the thing to impure. Um, yeah. Impure dust. So we'll process impure dust, and then we'll go from there. Uh, all the crushed, we'll do that. In here. Very nice. And there's also like impure stone dust we don't need. Oh, I can't. My magnet is a uh, is on here. Mm, okay, the diamonds, the yeah, the diamonds and the rubies. You can just put them here for now. And let's grab all the rest of the ores to process. We have a lot of uh, clay. We're gonna process that at some point as well. Uh, Universal Mace Raider, you can put them here. 
nice. Okay, so we're, we're covered for a tiny bit for processing here. Yeah, sidetracked. <laughs> All of the sidetracking. You know what? That's fine. We, we've got a lot of other things. Um, let's look at superconductor. Right, I think it's MV. Do I need a vacuum freezer for this? Oh, I do. That's why. An EV tier. Okay. So I can't do superconductors yet. But as soon as I get that vacuum freezer, uh, we should be okay. Although I thought I could make like um, their superconductor. Yeah. Superconductor basic MV ingot. So why is this cool? And why is this hot? Or, oh, yeah. Maybe I just got them. Yeah, I think I got them through, um... Well, I guess something else. Um... I think it's because I did the nitrogen gas... thing. Okay, I see. But what, what created the hot ingot then? Oh, if it just, if it didn't have any nitrogen. I see. Um, and what do I have here? Nitrogen gas. Hmm. Because I would have a lot less power loss. Okay, let's just do it after we get our vacuum freezer. Because, yeah. It'd just be a lot simpler. We, we have enough power right now, so we don't have to worry too much about that. And let's eat, and then let's uh, start making the pieces for our vacuum freezer. Uh, not vacuum freezer, um, clean room. Because <laughs> everything requires EV circuits, so, you know. Gonna have to figure that out. Oh, kiwi, uh, I think I have enough kiwis. Maybe this is good. I should make like real food, you know, but <laughs> I guess we can eat random things for now. Okay. Um, back to clean room. I think it's, um, well, let me just grab this. Uh, energetic alloy, vibrant alloy, and loot bag. Hmm. Let's get loot bag. Please be something good. Reinforced glass lens. That could be good, right? I think that could be good. Fluid heater added to the machine line. Fluid heater, eh? Uh, actually, I do have that. I think I have a fluid heater. Um, hmm. Corrected plus plus. Uh, multi block. Hold on, Chen. Let me just grab my phone. I think somebody's trying to call me. <laughs> I'm just gonna put my phone on silent here. Now we get. Um, what up, Smokey? How's it going? How's it going? It's clean room time. Oh yeah. So pressure plate and reinforced door. Okay. Let, let's see. Let's see all the pieces that we have here. But hello, sir. We were bright and early because I took Friday off. And what better way to take the day off to play video games? <laughs> what better way? Um, I think I had a maintenance hatch around here. And she has, oh, maintenance hatch right here. Uh, I barely have any space here. And let's do this. Okay. Let's put all of our clean room stuff here. In this line. Because we have the reinforced door. 
And then we have the pressure plates. Okay, perfect. Um, hmm. Have today off as well. Very nice. Day off a gang. <laughs> Day off a gang. Um, hmm. I want you to do something else as well, but I forget. I'm sure I'll remember. You put the dollies here. Oh yeah, I, uh, I need to buy transistors while it's, they're still available. Uh, six. Okay. Because then I can maybe make a few more HV circuits. Even though it's not many transistors, and I could probably make more transistors with the silicon solar grade stuff. But you know, for now. For now, this should be good. If I buy them from time to time, then I can pile on some HV circuits. Uh, you'd recommend using elevators to get in and out of the clean room as opening on closing the door can cause it to lose efficiency. What if we automate it so that we don't really need to go into the clean room? Yeah, I wonder if there's a way for us to do to do that. Uh, do I want to know the only platform you can play Minecraft on? Uh, sure, you can let me know if you want to. <laughs> I guess. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna, first first building the clean room. Then I guess we'll figure out the details after. But I guess an elevator could be cool. Um, I wonder, it is uh, for the clean room, if it's bigger, does it take longer to clean itself? <laughs> does it draw more power? I wonder. Okay, it says LV energy hatch, MV machine hall, LV machine hall. Um, cable diode. Can I do an HV energy hatch? I'm guessing I should, right? Where the power usage of this multiplex is a bit unusual, it starts out at 40 EU per tick, then gradually goes down. But even when it uses 40 EU per tick, which is usually MV, a single LV energy hatch suffices. Just keep in mind that this makes the clean room an exception, not the rule. What if what if I use a, um, an HV energy hatch? Because then I have to build a bunch of transformers for this. Uh, except up to two amps. Because mm. yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful not to blow it up here. Um, low voltage. Well, I do have a vo low voltage transformer that could be good. And clean faster if you overclock the room to HV. Let's do, just do HV. Um, yeah. I think that'll be better. Because cause mixing like power levels here is just asking for us to blow up our stuff. Um, okay, well, I do have an LV energy hatch here, but. Um, energy hatch. And we already made. Wait, maybe you already did make an energy hatch. LV energy hatch. And the energy hatch. Okay, we have two types of energy hatches here. Interesting. Because I thought I know I made a uh, an energy hatch for my um, my EBF here. Uh, what's up, Reiner? Why are you crying? <laughs> why, why why crying? Because you have to go to work today. Time transformer, low voltage transformer. Yeah, so uh, energy hatch, maybe HV. Okay, well, let's make this in the assembler. Low power IC, HV machine hole. I thought I had the energy hatch sold out here, but uh, I guess I didn't. There we go. Um, 
Knack coolant. There we go. Yep, yeah, you're trapped in here for six more hours. Well, I will be here after six hours as well. Uh, I'll try to keep you company for, for those hours. Uh, low power I see. Hmm. How was how was Thanksgiving? Uh, more low power I see here. That be that's good. I need pumps. Oh, I need pumps. Uh, okay. I think I have some screws here. Uh, honestly, I think I need to make more pumps. Like, just make a whole bunch here. Uh, we need, uh, stainless steel fluid pumps, gold cables, and we need, uh, other things. The rings and the stainless steel. Boom. That's not too bad. Uh, you had a beautiful French sentence constructed to express your anguish, but somehow someone used the cash in. So many tears today. Um, you know, I think you might be the one who used the cash in. Because you're the last person who redeemed. So, past Reiner, uh, uh, cashed it in. Okay, there we go. The Reiner from the past. A screwdriver, and I think that'll be good. Oh no, it isn't. Uh, this. <laughs> it is your favorite redemption. Uh, I, I still don't know why it does like a... Um, like, you, cash and usage. Yeah, still don't know why uh, it does that. Okay, we have pump, we have this, we have this, we have this, we have this, right? We have almost everything needed for the hatch. All we need is high voltage coil. Oh, energetic alloy. Um, do I even have that? Hmm. You know, it's the, oh, I do. I do, okay. I was going to say, instead of ha uh, getting the other reward, the Energic Alloy reward would have been better. Instead of that loot bag. <coughs> Sorry about that. Whew. Hopefully that wasn't loud. Um, and hopefully I, that doesn't mean I'm sick. Uh, yesterday you made turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, stuffing, cranberry, cranberry and gel. Green beans and chocolate pie. Oh, I could use a chocolate pie right now. <laughs> a chocolate pie chat, I would eat that instantly. Just eat all the pie and then just get sick, but be like, it's worth it. You know? Okay. Assembling machine? Ooh. Okay, we got that working. Um, if I do energy alloy wire and this, will it work? That needs to be number one. Yeah, you ate two plates. I uh, I had the biggest lasagna ever. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> I ate too much. Okay. There we go. I think we got our energy hatch. Very, very soon. Nice. Oh, there you go. Easy. So, energy hatch created. Energy hatch created. Uh, so, now I can put the energy hatch right here. I thought I had another energy hatch, but I have no idea if I used it or placed it somewhere else. Um, it just went missing, I guess. Okay, uh, we got that. This is all optional tasks. 
Envy Machine Hole. Hmm. I probably need to do. Uh, wait, there's Envy Machine Hole and LV Machine Hole. This is what to, to put power through? Why do I need machine holes? Uh, I'm gonna have to check out the uh, clean room uh, requirements here. Uh, does it even does it even show? Atmospheric cleaner, clean room controller. Pass items through. Oh, wait. Okay, to pass items through, does that mean uh, I should make the two? The LV and MV. Let's just make the LV and the MV, uh, whatever they're called. The mission holes. And just so that we're covered, and then, you know, if, uh, because I'm guessing maybe only LV machine, uh, LV things can go through, like LV circuits can only go through LV holes. I'm guessing. Uh, Okay, we will need a new wrench soon. And I need wrought iron. There you go. Okay, I got an LV machine hole. Oh, do I need two? MV machine hole, LV machine hole, I need two. Okay, I just need more steel. This is kind of interesting. Um, do I have any steel here? I do. Transform that into plates. I think I have my bending machine right here. Very nice. Yeah, it's nice to have uh, things in, in a HV format. It's so much faster. I know we can pass M3, but I thought it would be input bus. Hmm. Maybe things are different with the clean room. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to figure out. It seems like there's lots of uh, components here that I gotta. I gotta figure out here. But once we have our huge clean room, that then, then won't be really needing space for for. You know, we'll, we'll kind of like future proof it, or try to. There we go. Another LV machine hull. Um, and then, okay. Well, maybe we can do a complete here. Okay, I have energy hatches, but I need a MV machine hull. And I have a lot of like MV, let's grab all the MV uh, uh, machine Casings? I know I have them somewhere. Hmm. Unless I put all my casings in here already. I did not. Because I shouldn't have... Oh yeah, there we go. I have 60 casings. So I'll just put them here. And machine hole. Nice. Okay, so we got one here. There we go. Uh, now I need to make a diode. Uh, a simple diode that will allow energy flow in only one direction. So I guess I will need the envy diode if we have envy machines in there. Yeah. Uh, MV. Nice. And then it's is it four amps? Yeah, four amps MV. Um, oh, I need, I need, that makes sense. I need SMD dials for that. Uh, Anneal copper cables, I think I have that. Nice. Uh, I think I have four, uh, SMD dials. In my backpack. Uh, well, there you go, four. Very nice. And machine hole and aluminum plates. Uh, okay.
People diode. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we have the diode. Uh, now I need plants, crete, blocks, and filter machine casings. Um, yeah, so that's the, those are the big boys, right? The, the big things to do, especially if we're going to make it big room. So I need more than 82 and, and 8 filters. Uh, let's build the controller first, and then we'll build the other blocks. Okay, stainless steel rotor and HV machine hole. Okay, let's build an HV machine hole. Apparently, okay, let's just put the wrench we got. Damascus steel, stainless steel. We put the, yeah, let's just put this here for now. Wait, this is at level four, and this is level three. And it should be fine. Nice. And uh, machine hole. Nice. Okay, so we got the machine hole. Um. I need stainless steel rotors. Okay, HV motors. Uh, one, two. Very nice. And what else do I need? Uh, let's do controller. Oh god, there's so many controls. Uh, but easy to see the, the clean room, probably, maybe. right here so what do I need I need stainless steel rotors okay uh, let's grab some stainless steel you know, we should be processing more stainless steel uh, comfort bees breed like rabbits do they but that that's a good thing isn't it <laughs> uh, yeah that definitely would be a good thing okay stainless steel oh we need more chrome Okay, let's get some chrome. Uh, is this number 11? No. Number 11. Boom. Because then we can use oxygen. Um, yeah, well, let's see if we have any chrome here. No chrome. Not at all. Oh my god. Okay. For the stone way. Well, that's that's why I was stalling. Okay, we'll have a tiny bit of chrome here. We got some ruby dust. But not enough for more stainless steel here. We are lacking chrome. Maybe we'll get some off of this, but doubtful. Oh no, we will. Okay. The ruby dust, I think it might be a guaranteed chrome. Uh, so that is kind of nice. There we go. Because we have a lot of manganese now, it's just chrome that's limiting our, our stainless steel. But we're we're actually mining a lot of uh, diamonds, uh, not diamonds, rubies as well. So we should be getting a whole bunch of soon. Um, oh yeah, stainless steel rotors. We've got quite a bit of stainless steel. We've got what four stacks? It's not bad. Um, fluid solidifier, cutting machine, dehydrator. Alloy smelter, extruder. Okay. There we go. Very nice. The extruder is super fast now. Right now, about five times more than any other you have. Uh, is that really good though? In the sense that, like, you won't have to worry about a uh, about them like going extinct or whatever. <laughs> Item filter. 
Now we need these guys. Okay, we need zinc foil, fine steel wire, and polyethylene. Um, okay. I mean, do I even have zinc foil? I do. Okay, okay. Uh, fine steel wire. Why well, can't just use steel? And C. Uh, hmm. See steel, we can get the fine steel wires. And then put them into our machine for with polyethylene. There we go. These are pristine, they breed forever. Oh oh do they? So they don't expire a pristine doesn't expire then. Well, that's even better. So I guess can you can you recycle bees? Like if you have too many of them. I'm sure they can serve another purpose. At least I would hope so. I guess me breeding. <laughs> that could okay, that could serve that purpose. Um okay, so I guess we can put more in our wire mill here. So iron filters are pretty expensive. very nice and then we'll do another another set one last set and then we'll have a controller uh, the thing is once we have a controller um, we gotta do the machine filter casings and plastic blocks uh, that might be a bit tough because that's the, the the majority of the the, the cost right for the everything um, and I think for filters, that probably needs to be like the, the bottom or the roof, right? Or something. It's some sort of like filter. <laughs> hmm. It's probably going to be a big proportion of our stuff. Put that away. Nice. Clean room. Yeah, at least that's done. Um, wait, I can get a... Yeah, let's get these. Do bags. Hopefully something good. These do something good. Oxygen pipe. Oxygen pipe will transfer oxygen from one machine's internal gas storage to another. That could be good, right? Hmm. Hey, transistors, I need that. <laughs> hey, that contributes directly to my, my, uh, my circuits. Yeah, oxygen pipe. Boom. Uh, any person you find in the wild, you keep to, to breathe them over to the bee you want. One tip, get a scoop and get every rocky hive you come across. They are always pristine. Oh. So you can kind of like use the Rockies to like make other pristine bees, eh? Interesting. Oh my god, steel bars, more onion filters. Oh, we need a lot of zinc here. Um, yeah, I gotta figure out how... Is there a, a thing that shows like the clean room? Tier 2? Tier 3? Is this just the size? Tier 5? Oh my god, this is gigantic. Right? It, I think it's just to show you like the, the size of the of the room here. As tiers. Uh, oh god. I did not mean to do that. Can I erase this? <laughs> uh, maybe I can I can do it over here. So it shows you shows you how to build it. Uh, I did not know that that function.
Uh, clean room, controller. Maybe let's do three. Okay, maybe we'll do it like that size. That size, should I make it bigger? Maybe even bigger, eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe bigger. Once the beat starts stacking, you know you're good with that beat. Then take those drones to beat to make others. Rest and repeat about a thousand times in this pack. Hmm. Well, at least it seems seems relatively simple then to breed the bees. I wish I wish I could like uh, uh, zoom out, you know. Forty-eight. Hmm. Okay, so crafting them in an assembler would obviously cost less. It costs less steel bars and less filters. So that'd be the way to go. Um, needs lots of aluminum rotors, lots of electric motors, and V. Um. Oh, but this is like. Is there different tiers of filter machine cases? I don't think so. So there'd be something. Oh god, it extends even more over here. Okay. I don't know if it needs to be like the same height. Um, uh huh. This is this will be easier chat to learn. Clean room. Clean room is a hollow, variable size structure between three by four by three and fifteen by fifteen by fifteen. Its footprint must be an odd number square. Okay. Okay, so it needs to be an odd number square, so I can't do 10 by 10, it would need to be like 11 by 11 or something. Or 15 by 15, and then by 10. The no restrictions on the height other than minimum of 4 and maximum of 15 blocks. Okay, so I guess we'll do 15 by 15 and maybe at less high. Um, and then we'll see. Uh, hmm... Clean room controller, top of slayer, perfectly centered. Also the center. It's like a, a topmost and center. Okay. Uh, elevator block and the floor. Oh. But they didn't tell us to make the elevator block in, in the thing. But Smog, and you said uh, elevator block. Hmm. What about a model has a goal? Huh? <laughs> uh, by the way, I love the hot emote. It's the best. Reinforced door, travel anchor, and elevator can all be used to enter and exit the clean room. The door requires a redstone signal to open and must be closed 100% for 100% efficiency. Anchors and elevators do not reduce the clean room's efficiency when used. The second elevator block can be placed on top or below, while another travel anchor can be anywhere in its range. Hmm. Uh, caution, this is in the door. An optional elevator block anchor count against the percent of plastic calculation. So reducing the amount of glass may be necessary to get the clean room to form. Oh, I see. But are we rich yet? No, we're not rich and we're not clean. That's why we've got to make a clean room. We're gonna add a shower to our clean room. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to learn how how uh, how much I would need to like build. Yeah, dirty and broke <laughs> story of my life. Okay. Uh, Beals, dirty man. Okay, if I go back to this. Wait, no, I want to do this. Um. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. So it kind of looks like this. Can I put the, the door below? Uh, if the clean room, okay. If, it, if I make it clean room, I guess I have to make mini stairs, which is totally fine or something. Um, yeah, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make the clean room the floor floor. You know, we're gonna make it like one step up, and then we'll just do do that. Um, and if that's the case, then. Let's do like tier two just to see. Okay. Um, and the bottom is just plascrete, right? So the filters are at the top. It's a lot of filters. Yeah, I'm kind of understanding how things are made here. Uh, and then there's like other other things. So let's just do a whole bunch of plascrete. Do the base foundation and then just go from there. Um, yeah. So just make a whole bunch of plastic blocks. Mm. And how do I make those plastic blocks? Polyethylene pulp, wet or wet concrete, and black steel frame box. How do I make wet concrete? Clay. Oh, we have a lot of clay, stone dust, a lot of stone dust, calcite, and quartz, and some water. Uh, I mean, that water is easy to get. Uh, let's just make a whole bunch of wet concrete. So let's kind of clear out our mixer here. Because we're making some st stainless steel. Uh, I could just put this stuff here. I need to make a new chest, actually. I'm going to clear out this chest and put it in another chest. Let's just kind of start from scratch here with our, our mixer. So at least I can um, I can arrange some things. Okay, so we'll put these here. We'll put our extruder pieces in here as well. Um, that way, well, that way we can extrude. We won't have to go back and forth all the time. We can just go in that chest, and that so that's the chest I'll have like mixer dust and uh, extruder things. Yeah, that's so much better. Organization chat. What a wonderful thing. Uh, you know, or, you know, slight organization. I'm sure it'll get mixed up at some point. Uh, there we go. So now I needed calcite, right? Um, for the wet concrete. Lots of calcite, uh, clay dust, and stone dust. Let's put all the clay that we accumulated uh, into the mace reader. Nice. Time to mace read. Uh, before we continue, let's also check up on our on two things: our diesel and our steam. Because if we have enough steam, we can alleviate our diesel a tiny bit to let it accumulate a lot more. Okay. We're full steam ahead. Let's do that. Because I kind of made a tiny setup here because I wasn't really using my steam at all, right? So I moved those machines that I had here onto here, right? And it's, it's kind of powering up the battery buffer. Now this is, well, this is off actually. Uh, and how much diesel do I have? Okay, 390,000. That's not great. Uh, but if I turn this back on for a tiny bit, then this will turn on. This will alleviate. And I believe this will turn off. Oh, or this should turn off. Or use less. Uh-oh. Did, did I overload with a... With, uh... Oh, we're maxed out on sulfuric life fuel. Hydrogen cell life fuel. Oh, I understand. Um, let's do this.
We need more heavy fuel. <laughs> I was like, why aren't I making any diesel? Because I forgot to do that. See, that's why we had to check up on it. So, you know, now that this is alleviating, we could, uh... So can can kind of like continue. And this should have... Oh, wow. There's no, there's no battery power here. Liquid amount. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Like, uh, it, we don't have um, a tubing here for this generator. That's fine. We, I don't think we need uh, we need three, actually. We we have more than enough power. Okay, so the, the light fuel is going in here. Hmm. So we have more than enough. But where's the heavy fuel at? Because we made a bunch of heavy fuel. Oh, we have no power in this. Insufficient power for this advanced chemical reactor. Um, interesting. Okay, but why is it stalled? Did our, our cables burn out? No. I don't think so. God, I really need to have like more more blocks here. Um, I should like, just take my wand and just do all the things. Advanced distillery, okay. I guess everything's powered the way it should be. Yeah, uh, there's something that's going wrong here. <laughs> With that specific distillery. And I'm not quite sure why. You know, do it be better converting some of these into the advanced, uh, advanced stuff? Or like the, the large chemical reactors? Hmm. Now, what if I take this and put it here? Now it's producing. Very strange. Is it because, uh, yeah, is it because there's no batteries in here? So it's not supplying any power? Average output to 60. Maybe it's because this is charging now? And it's definitely charging, so maybe, yeah, maybe that's why. Uh, we're using all the power to charge these lithium batteries. And then when it's powered up, then... So maybe I do need that extra, that extra power boost here. For that distillery. Yeah. Well, at least we're getting more fuel, so that's good. Um... Yeah, let's uh let's get our pipe. Our dark steel pipe and, and add in that extra um, generator. Sure we'll use more diesel, but we have steam alleviating at the same time, so um hmm. Dark steel pipes. And then we can continue on with our clean room because we gotta make that wet concrete. <laughs> Clean room when? Maybe today. Right? Am I copiuming? Who knows? Okay, well, at least this is powering up now. 
we're using up some more stuff for power. Why this is not charging up, I have no idea. Well, I guess I'm using more power. Yeah. We're copium trucking it for sure. Okay, well, you know what? well, at least we're powering all of this. So this is good. Okay, and we have a lot of heavy fuel here, so this is good as well. Uh, the hydrogen sulfide needs to be, I guess, uh, grabbed here. Nice. And then we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah, so much copium. <laughs> A little too much, in fact. There we go. Um, oh, yeah, I have chlorine in here. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about that. Let's make our silicon solar great stuff. Uh, which is, I guess, a whole other story that we gotta we gotta do. Uh, let's get some calcite. Calcite? Maybe like two stacks of calcite could be good. Graphite. Okay, let's just look at everything here. Like calcite. Okay, well, I at least have two stacks. I'm sure I could get more at some point. Uh, and then uh, we need clay dust, stone dust. Well, we have a lot of stone dust. Let's grab two stacks. There we go. I was like, where's my stone dust? I guess it wasn't showing up. Okay, stone dust, we need clay. Oh god, I have a lot of clay here. Uh, okay, nice. What about this? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, well, we'll have even more stone dust. Let's put some stone dust back, I guess. Okay, there we go. Uh, so clay, calcite, stone dust, uh, and then I need quartz, quartz sand. I guess I can make some, I just need some sand. Um, and then we'll make some wet concrete. Okay, quartz sand here, that's barely enough. We do have some sand here. Oh yeah, if I had my forge hammer, I could make some sand here. Uh, advanced forge hammer. Uh, hmm. Can I stick this forge hammer somewhere? Uh, that could work. I think I need to make a new tool soon. We'll do that. We'll put the forge hammer down right here. Um, doesn't need to be anything too crazy. And then I can start making some sand. Because okay. at least, you know, it's kind of like all together here. And then we can start, you know, taking all of this down. All the things that we don't need. While this is powered by by steam, it's it's gonna be a lot cleaner, and, and then I can think about redoing my flooring for my ore processing plant. That's also another thing too. Redoing the floors. Okay, uh, maybe another thing to make a uh, some stuff. I have some Banja Blast Mountain Dew. Because why not? Wait, I just saw I just saw a thing. I saw a little fire. I'm hoping that's good. I'm hoping that's okay. 
I'm hoping it's just like the Forge Hammer visuals. <laughs> okay. I'm paranoid about fire being close to my machines now. Okay. So we should be good. Let's get some quartz sand, which I don't think I have here. Right? I don't think I have any here. Holy moly, this is a whole mess of dust. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out. Okay. Especially with our ore processing here. Uh, we have a lot of clay dust. Let's grab all the clay dust. Let's put the clay dust in here. Just so we can have some more processing space here. Even the obsidian dust, let me put it in here. This is mostly for our gems, but I guess this would be gem, clay dust, and uh, obsidian. There you go. So now we're going to get some quartz sand. I, I guess I can start processing that right away. Uh, to make some wet concrete. And I would need what number? Uh, number two. Oh, I need water. Okay. Um, oh. Okay. Uh, not distilled water. Do I have any any other the uh, oxygen here? Chlorine here. Molten glass, refined glue, iron three chloride, glue. Your acid is there. Uh, oh yeah, we have silicon. Yeah, I don't have any tanks here. To get water. Do I have any cells? I have empty cells here. Okay, well let's just go get some water real quick. Not, not the most ideal way to do it, but... It seems not like all my other tanks are in usage. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I think we'll need, uh, do we run faster with concrete? Because if we do, we might need to remake our roads here, uh, with, uh, actual concrete. Probably used to add ice cream to make Mountain Dew floats. Oh. Mountain Dew floats? Like, how, how does that work? Uh... Oh my god, that's all concrete. Okay. Uh, Mountain Dew floats. So you just like pour the Mountain Dew on the ice cream? Or vice versa? <laughs> okay, wet concrete. And then to make with the plastic block, I need polyethylene pulp. Okay. Uh, let's make a stack of polyethylene pulp. Uh, do I have polyethylene bars? Because I can just pulverize those. I do. Okay, so this, I guess 37 should be okay. I can maybe make a bit more with our fluid solidifier. Oh, do we even have that? Uh, I have to admit the, the uh, Mount Dew uh, Baja Blast or whatever it's called. Uh, pretty decent, I would have to say. Pretty decent. I do enjoy it. Not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> yeah, not sponsored, but it is better than I expected. There's just like a new, there's a new corner store uh, where I'm at. And the prices are actually like reasonable. You know, like sometimes how corner stores like jack up the prices for like every single item but it's kind of like compared to our, our grocery store so i'm like you know what <laughs> the corner store is closer and it's not sketchy so you know what i'll go there and they have a large a large amount of choices uh Okay, so polyethylene, 
uh, in our fluid solidifier. Very nice. It's so good, chat. We're getting lots of good things here. Uh, next, I have to encounter a Taco Bell. I think I have some here. I never went to one, but I think I've had. I think there's one right beside a KFC. <laughs> uh, I'll have to check that out. Although, to be fair, I think if the next fast food place that I go to. I think I want to try a Wendy's. Um, I think that might be the next one I try. But again, I have to limit, you know, because my heart, I have to limit the amount of uh, <laughs> fast food places I do go to. But it would be interesting. Drilling rig, main block, finally. Ooh, drilling rig. Wait, you're catching up? That's really, really good, actually. Uh -huh. Wait, quartz? Oh, we need want more water. Okay, let's get some more water. Because, yeah, drilling rig will change your life. <laughs> it just is uh, getting more oil. Hmm. But you know what I've been craving, chat, lately? A nice... Caesar salad. A huge, nice Caesar salad uh, is so good sometimes. Uh, like with no tomatoes and no chicken. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just really good. Okay, I need more. I need more court sand. Actually, you know what? I think I have the ingredients to make some at home. Hmm. I might have that for supper. Just less and dressing? Kind of, kind of less dressing. Um, um, the croutons and some cheese. Like just a tiny bit of sprinkled cheese on it. And that's pretty good, actually. Oh, but I had, um, I had spinach too. D does this still count as a Caesar salad? If you add a bit of spinach in it, I think so, right? Or does it become something else entirely? I'm not quite sure what it is in the food classification here. Uh, do we have more polyethylene? Hmm. Where'd my polyethylene go? Oh, did I did I just put them in here? I think I might have pulverized it already. Keep only a theme pulp. Can you get wait, where did my polyethylene bars go? Cause I, I know I, I I solidified them. I probably put them somewhere that I shouldn't have. Because I solidified it in here. Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, just call it Canadian Caesar salad? True. Okay. Okay. I will do that. The Canadian Caesar salad version. We need to ask Caesar. Hmm. Let me get my time machine. Let me get my time machine. Uh, it's like it's like in uh, um, what was the movie? Hangover. One of the guys is like, "Hey, did the did the real Caesar live here? <laughs> did the real Caesar live here? I haven't seen that movie in such a long time. Oh, I have a Gallimard sniper plate. Oh, that might be useful." I should grind that down, that down actually. Um, hmm. Yeah, I completely lost my, my, uh, my ingots here. Unless I'm going completely crazy.
I thought I put a whole bunch of like uh, things here to process. And I don't know where they went. I probably put them so you want uh, let's just do this. Polyethylene. I'm sure I can find the bars. Okay, I've got these. Pulp. Nothing. No, maybe I just just imagining it. Maybe I, I did something else instead. Okay. <laughs> uh, now let's see here. So another wet concrete, so I can take the wet concrete and put it in here. Uh, let's take this out. There you go. Um, hmm. Because I need to make black steel frame box. Oh, damn. Uh, black steel rod. Black steel ingot. Black steel dust. Okay, steel, nickel, and black bronze. All right. Uh, wait, gold, copper, silver, steel, nickel. That would make a lot of black, so let's just do that. And we have an HV, so... Yeah, copper, gold, silver. Okay, let's get a stack of those. I have to make some black steel. Copper. Uh, you need to automate clay. Do you have a clay mountain near you? Because uh, that would definitely help. Okay, uh, I think I need gold. I guess I already have some gold. Uh, right here. Uh, silver and steel and nickel. The steel I can like chop down. Uh, unless, unless I have steel here that I haven't been noticing. No. Oh, I have a lot of glass though. And more clay dust. Okay, that we could more pulps. Yeah, there's a lot of things that I gotta get here. Some silver dust. Okay. Gold, silver, copper. Uh, ashes, neodymium, carbon, lots of clay. Holy moly, that's we have so much clay. Um, graphite. Uh, yeah, we don't have the steel. Okay, so let's process that steel, and then we'll need to. Um. Nickel. Okay, I need to like. I'm gonna do this chat. I'm gonna reload. Reload in. It seems like my arms are kind of like a. Not refreshing properly. <laughs> so I gotta do that. Okay. There you go. Um, so now I have all of this. We'll get our steel. And we should be good for that. Steel dust. Oh, there go. More polyethylene pulps. Okay. So now it kind of like reappeared. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. Okay. I was wondering where my polyethylene went, uh, and that's that's why. <laughs> Just relogging here, the IMS came back. Okay. 
our, our thing is full. Um, so we need number what for the dark steel? We need number um, fourteen. Oh, okay, fourteen. But then I need to grab all of this. Nice. Okay, and then the rest can just go in here for our our stuff. Okay, perfect. Now, while while that's processing, let's go and check our um. Yeah, let's go and check our stuff here. I'm really tempted to to change the flooring off of my uh, ore processing plant. Super tempted. Oh, six, six hundred thousand, or almost seven hundred thousand. Um, that's good chat. Our, our, our steam kind of like alleviated a lot of the, uh, the usage of all these distilleries. So that is good. Nice for now. Uh, wait, let's check if we have any, uh, leftover cells here. We do. Nice. And we have a lot of hydrogen there too, so we can use kind of like that uh, hydrogen sulfide to, uh, I guess, make more hydrogen. We already have a lot of acid for now, so don't really need to wor worry about acid for now. Um, we'll just process this instead. There you go. Yeah, redoing the whole flooring here would be nice, actually. We get less less response. Um hmm. Dark steel. Very nice. Wait, this is black steel. Uh oh. No, yeah, 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 okay. Not dark steel, black steel. That's that's what we need. <laughs> I was like, uh oh, did I do the wrong recipe? No, I did not. I, I'm good. Um, okay, so then we need to cook that black steel. Do you have any black steel here? Steel dust? I have dark steel. Okay. Um, and then for that black steel. Hot black steel ingot. Just oxygen gas and then we'd be fine. Okay. How, how much oxygen gas do we have? We, okay, we don't have as much as I thought I would. Um, interesting. Do I have, oh, I have a lot of chlorine here. Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to grab the chlorine here. That, that's another thing I'm going to have to get done. Because we need to, like, replug in our, our oxygen production uh, for that black steel. Okay. Boom. So nice, we're getting more silicon tetrachloride, which is good for transistors. Uh, that's that's another job that we're gonna have to get done. Okay. Silicon tetrachloride. Uh, ideally, I would have that automated as well. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that we need to automate. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's for sure. I feel like once we have our vacuum freezer in our in our uh, clean room here maybe automations will be more possible uh, at least that's the hope okay, and let's get some more more pipes I think this will be enough even though it's not the same size pipe uh, we'll just uh, is it oh it is 
So can I fix that? Nice. And then when we're processing uh, all the uh, hydrogen sulfide, right? But we can get some obsidian here and then we can do the whole obsidian thing. Um, yeah. So obsidian dust here. And some over here as well. Uh, somewhere. Yeah, right here. I might need a hopper for that, um, that, uh, electrolyzer. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, but we're gonna need to have, like, some, uh, let's grab these dirt blocks here. Because it is a bit high. You have kebab, kebab and garlic bread today? Oh, garlic bread hits so good. Yeah, whoever invented garlic bread is a genius. It's a freaking genius. But you know, it's like a nice, nice uh, Thanksgiving celebration in a, in a way. We'll take that. I had mine yesterday. I had a whole bunch of lasagna. I thought I was going to die. I ate so much. <laughs> uh, yeah. I only ate one meal and it was the lasagna and it was everything I wanted it to be. Uh, okay, so nice. So we have some oxygen pouring in here. More black steel. Let's do all the black steel. Very nice. Uh, might I need some more steel dust? I don't know how much I need specifically. Okay. And it's up to the other 22 hours of the day. Uh, actually, no, I didn't. I didn't. I went on a date instead. <laughs> okay. Uh... But it was, uh, I definitely was not hungry. That's for sure. After that. Um, is this what I need? Black steel and gifts? Yes, it is. Hey, okay, hold on. Black steel. Uh, is it frame box? Did you say I went on a date? I did. <laughs> I did. It was fun. It was actually fun. I'm, I'm getting out there, chat. I'm putting myself out there. Um. Okay, we need that and polyethylene pulp. Let's make a whole bunch of black steel frame box. Yeah, I'm getting out there. Um. And I need rods. And to make oh I see to make rods I need the rod thing okay that makes sense yeah I'm uh slowly you know slowly getting my life together but also streaming at the same time uh polarizer bending machine wire mill blade heater extruder there I go and pulling uh, but I'm not pulling in GTNH. My Grectech New Horizons factory is failing right now. I need more power. I need unlimited power. But it's so hard to get. Okay, what if I do this? Uh, would it be number four? Oh god, I hope it is. Yes, it is. Okay. We need a whole lot of those those frames. Um There we go. Yeah, it's kind of like a nice change of a uh, pace in in scenery here, I guess. 
ever since I had my operation, I'm kind of like, I had a different outlook on, on trying new things. So, going out in the dark, scary world and doing things. Hmm. You know, I haven't had a pile of ashes in a very, very long time. I wonder what, what my muffler is actually doing. Extruder number two. I mean, uh, I guess I'm going to get some plastic blocks here. I'm thinking like a stack would be probably necessary, right? Uh, am I making more dark? Oh, I need more steel dust. Okay, let's get more, let's get more steel. Um, do I have more steel? Yeah, because I recycled some things. Oh. Speaking of recycling, um, I think that's, yeah, that's when I need the dark steel. I should recycle more, more machines. Hmm. I should. Okay, I want a smelter, extruder. Oh no, yeah, dark steel and black steel is totally different. I keep, I don't know why I keep getting them mixed up. <laughs> there I go. It's nice, so we're gonna process that. We're gonna get more steel. Yeah, I guess we're going to need to make some raw iron and stuff in our arc furnace, and we're going to have to process more things. Man, we have so many ores, and I have to check up on my miner as well at some point. Because we're going to need some stuff for our, uh, for our chrome. Okay, nice. So I guess we're processing that. Hmm. As I mean, I guess twenty is fine for now. Uh, let's do that twenty, and then I need was it the polyethylene pulp, and then the wet concrete, and then what number? No number. No number, just concrete. No. Okay. Well, hey. Nice we're getting all the concrete here. So, plastic block. We need so much of these. <laughs> uh, is the whole floor made of plastic blocks? I guess it is, eh? I guess it is. So gonna have to we're gonna have to work on that. But we're finally making the clean room. So you know at least we're progressing instead of stalling. <laughs> yeah, progression instead of stalling. That is nice. There we go. Twelve plastic blocks. Uh, they said eighty. Oh my god, eighty-two for just a small one as well. Or is it like this? Telling us the the pieces for one size clean room. Eighty-two seems a lot, like a lot. Um. Hmm. Tier one, tier one is th uh, thirty-three. 
Okay, and the tier two is eighty-nine. So they're they're asking us to make an eighty-nine uh, uh, tier two uh, clean room. One ninety-three. Should I make a, a tier three clean room? Like how how big is this? It's hard to see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven by seven. I don't know. No, you want? Know I I I said I was gonna do like a, a omega huge clean room chat, and we're gonna do it. Okay, I, I shouldn't go back on my word here. <laughs> I should do not need to go back on my word. Uh. Okay, nice. Nice. And and then I guess you yeah, have the total bottom floor is made of that. Because the height doesn't we we don't need to to have a super high clean room. So I want it to be kind of like here. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, maybe 11 because it, you're kind of like limited by this. Um, I guess 11 by 11. I think that's pretty big. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's what we were planning to do from the beginning anyways. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we need another row here. Another thing. So that'll be pretty good. We need food. Our character needs food. Ask me one big clean room. Anyway, six more here. Um, more dark steel. Very nice. We can put it back in here. Our one soul EBF here is struggling. Uh, do we have this at number 11? We do. Okay. That's not bad at all. It'll be expensive to make the item filters, um, right? Because we need a lot of zinc for those things. But it is what it is. I mean, I'm sure we'll find zinc somehow. <laughs> uh, hopefully. Yeah, I hope so. You know, we've got a decent setup here. We can probably recycle some more things that we need to recycle. How's our batteries? 16%. Ooh. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's try this. It's not really efficient. Let's see if we can't charge these batteries for our arc thing for now. Uh, hmm. Will this work? Uh, I don't think it's going to charge that much. Is it? It's already out. 
<laughs> already out of steam. Okay, well, you know, damn. Uh, do we have that uh, LV battery buffer? No. We're going to need to make another ar arc furnace, I guess. We're going to need to make a better one. Which is fine. Um, I was also thinking about this too. Um, battery. These. These quad cell batteries. Large sodium ba Oh, it's large batteries. I thought it was the tiny batteries. You know, I could use the tiny batteries maybe for the uh, our, our, power, our tools. Uh, that's EV tier, okay. Because eventually we'll, we'll transition to EV tier very, very soon. Eh? The large lithium batteries, quad cell lithium batteries, which is actually insane. That's going to require a lot of, a lot of uh, stuff. Uh, to even make those batteries. That's going to be really expensive. Okay. We'll, we'll have more black still here. Let's get the uh, so, some food in our system here. And I think what maybe while we're waiting some, for some of that black steel. Hmm, I was thinking like. What if I make some factory blocks? It would just require some iron and a bending machine and some stone. Um, let's make some pancakes here. And two baked hams. Chat, I need to go to the bathroom real quick. Uh, I'll take a two-minute break, and I'll be back. Is the is music uh, still... Uh... It is still going? Okay. Because this will give me a good time to take a two-minute break, because I've been already live for... Actually, not even two hours, but we've got a long day ahead of us. I started way early today. Um... So we, we're going to do a ton of progress today. It's going to be nice. You know, my it's my day off. Smokey's day off. It's everyone's day off today. Be right back real quick. Ooh.
Ooh, sorry about that. Who has it today off? I have today off. I have today off. I think Smokey has today off. Morgan has today off. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, advanced charging battery? Interesting. Yeah, we can make tons of different batteries here. Insanely ultimate battery. Oh my god, that's a huge amount of power. What number is that? Wait, uh... Thousands... Million... Okay, yeah, we're in the... Whatever, I don't even know that number. <laughs> It's a lot. I'd say that. Okay. Fake number is fake, yeah. It's not real. It is not real. Okay. Um, so now. More black steel, since you know I went to, to the bathroom here, this should be have more of it done. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're going to redo our floors, uh, a raft, our clean room. Uh, as soon as we clear this, then we'll be be in a good position to remake our floors, which will probably transition to remaking our roads too. Um, that'll be kind of nice actually. There we go. Hmm. I wonder how much we really need for the uh, last creep blocks. Probably quite a bit, actually. Okay, so for the even for our assembling machine here, uh, let's actually do um, take an iron ingot, and we'll at least bend bend it so we can make more uh, actual blocks as well. Well, let's get that started. You need a yes amount? Yeah, a lot. We need a lot. Probably just as much as the, the amount that I need to make my big uh, my big tank here. Okay, so I th think this will be 11. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so we'll do an 11 by 11 clean room. I think that'll be big enough. That's as big as our, our building will uh, allow for now. Okay, so I think we're we need a wrench for this. There we go. Ah, it's gonna be a lot of plastic. <laughs> okay. and, and the cool thing is that we can have like a bunch of vacuum freezers here as well. Uh, that'll be kind of nice. Or we could make a, a room or a building that's just vacuum feasters. Or cold room. Hmm. That could be a thing. Oh, we might need might need some more steel. I'm not sure yet. Might need more steel. Um do we have any more cells here as well? Oh, okay. Let's bring this uh, hydrogen. We can check our diesel at the same time. Uh, our, is our steam okay? Yeah, our steam is fine. Okay, so polyethylene is also fine as well. Maybe we can grab some polyethylene to transform to pulp. Uh, 
put all of the hydrogen here so we'll have you know a good amount we probably need to grab some uh hydrogen sulfide from this uh not not too bad actually okay and we have a lot of sulfuric heavy cells in. uh still yeah I really need to replace this flooring. I, I, I like the other flooring better. Um, hmm. Okay, this is in processing because I need hydrogen. Which means, how much do we have here? Okay. It lowered by 200,000 eh? That's fine. Now we've got a lot of uh, hydrogen cells. Yeah. We're getting some stuff back. Um, okay, we have hydrogen cells here, brick nafta, we have our steam cells here, do we just need oxygen cells here? Yeah, we do. Okay. That means more obsidian. For more polyethylene. That's one thing that we're lacking, I feel, is like a lot, a lot of our oxygen. Um, yeah, there's so many things on the go that we have going on here. What about our, our chlorine? Did we have enough? Okay, okay. So we we have more cells here. Uh, we don't have that as much silicon tetrachloride than I thought I, I did. Yeah, a lot less than I thought I did. Okay, so at least that's that's going. Um, hmm. Now the plascrete. Okay, black steel frame box. We can continue with that. Um, we have more wet concrete in here. It's nothing that we're gonna have to <laughs> take care of. Nice. That means we can get a lot of concrete done as well. Uh, eyes is greater than stomach. True. This is actually true for me all the time. Story of my life. Time to for more stainless steel. The factory must grow. The factory must grow. Uh, wait, are you close to making that rocket then? You, I mean, you must be, right? Uh, you must, must be. Okay, so we're kind of like lowering an oxygen here. Um, oh yeah, let's grab this actually. That's what we're chlorine what? Yoink. There we go. More silicon tetrachloride. Uh, let's go more black metal. Jeez, we're running back and forth here. This is getting exhausting. <laughs> uh, now extruder. More plascrete. Very nice. Yeah, we need more. We need more polyethylene. That we do. Uh, you have the circus made for the NASA workbench. You're just getting the sidetracked right now. Hmm. I I am uh, trying really hard not to get sidetracked. I'm trying my best yet. Because I really want to make it everything to this flooring. Even our roads, I think, will be will be good. Uh, okay, so I guess we fill this in with the uh, regular plascrete. I guess. Oh my god, this can be gigantic. Oh my god. Uh, okay, I mean, hey, we're we're almost done the flooring. Okay, 
Day 25, we're trying to find a mod pack that holds the candle to directing to horizons. It's looking grim. Uh, you know, Frakas, it might just be time to to go back to GTNH. It might just be time. But yeah, it, it, uh, I'm starting to say that I don't know if you'll find it. This mod pack is just too good. <laughs> Pattern simulator is fun. Uh, oh yeah, I guess you have that stage. Eh? Pattern simulation. I mean, I think I would find it fun. But then again, I uh, my threshold for fun is kind of like low chat. I can find enjoyment in almost everything. If I find something boring, then it must be incredibly boring. Because my threshold is really, really low. But I, I guess as long as there's that feeling of progression, uh, yeah, it definitely works for me. Hmm. Is this a fluid solidifier? It is. It is indeed. Now we're making all the bars. You know, there's a lot less bars than I thought it'd be. <laughs> okay, I thought this was, was going to be a stack, but it's not. Oh, it might be, actually. It might just be. Okay, so you're a fan of the LV plus gameplay loop? Yeah, I guess it's like, um, I think they might need to add more, more things to manage, perhaps. Maybe, maybe that's, uh, uh, LUV plus. Maybe that's when they need to like, um, add like a pollution loop or something, you know, like, uh, add, adding some extra difficulty layers, the further you go could be fun. more puzzles to solve because um you're kind of like just doing patterns right and like auto crafting so once auto crafting is done you kind of like need a uh, something else to i don't know i guess i have to see when i'm um, when i'm there because <laughs> i don't really know specifically how the game loop will feel but uh maybe they can add some stuff this wants nothing to do besides staring at an A2 terminal all day? Yeah. Creating some sort of like building puzzles would be uh, nice. And I guess maybe that's where different multi blocks would come and play, right? Um, imagine that needing to make like a specials, specialized type of power source or something. Like the further you go, like just regular electricity is not good enough. Like you have to enhance that loop or something that could be kind of cool yeah i mean i i guess towards the end right uh the game le gameplay loop will be for me is just to design things <laughs> make our factory look amazingly cool um And, and kind of like centralize things, like make make themes into from buildings and stuff, right? Like our our, our vacuum freezing room, our APF room, etc. And think about how how we can theme it together. I guess that's what I'm thinking. I might do. Um, obviously, by that time, maybe we'll be also playing other games from time to time, so it won't always be like that A2 terminal loop. But, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It'll be definitely be interesting. We need to just make things even bigger. <laughs> okay. 
make things even bigger than before. Make a massive... Wait, I guess there's a maximum size to the clean room, right? I was going to say, like, maybe make, like, a 100 by 100 clean room at some point, but I guess that's not really possible. Okay, black stealing it. Oh, we're running low on oxygen. Uh, we need obsidian. Where's my mime sheet? Uh, so still a fire? Yeah. Okay. There are a bunch of power generation gates, fusion, knack, and dyson, etc. Oh, is there? Interesting. Wait, there's like Nacodeth stuff? Interesting. Is there like a um, large hadron collider and stuff too? That's, that's gonna be kind of cool. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be kind of cool to get into. Have you seen the size of endgame multis? I actually have not. Except for like the mega EBF, which is absolutely insane by the way. And I'm willing to admit that that's, that's the, the smaller multis. So yeah, we're, <laughs> we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be good chat. This is gonna be really good. It's gonna be super fun to to figure all that stuff out. Definitely, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. That's definitely a, th a thing that has plagued me for for so long. And then my stomach is like, "Why, Drac? Why have you done this to us?" Okay. Uh, do I have more purified stuff here? Are we still processing? We are. Okay. Well, as long as we're processing, that's what matters. Oh my god. Hello, stone. Uh, hello, cinnabar. Okay, well, you know, at least we're clearing that out. At least we're using some stone to make uh, concrete. And then we have so much stone right now. Oh my god, the purified magnetite. Uh, once we get to the purified magnetite chat, we're going to have so much gold. Um, that will definitely be a thing. Okay. Well, you know, this this ore processing chain, I guess, is happening. Uh, doing a lot of stuff here. But yeah. Um... Let me just do that. Let me look up Collider. Collider. Right? Matter Collider. Oh. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not bad in terms of size. So there's rings. Maybe you can do a room with rings kind of like this. Right? And it's just like a bunch of rings. Um, as you go through the room. That could be cool. Either, either make rings like horizontal like that, or we just stack rings on top of each other. I'm not what, sure what kind of a thing we're going to do here. What kind of pattern. Because I'm assuming I need to make more than one matter collider at some point. <laughs> uh, so again, that'll be interesting. It would be cool as well if we made a bunker, right? Not a bigger bunker than this, with an, an alarm. And the alarm would ring every time there's a blood moon. So I could get in my bunker. <laughs> uh, I don't know, if, don't even know if that's even feasible. But it would be cool. Because I don't know if there's like a weight like detect when blood moon is happening but okay hydrogen so for nafta i guess any more uh 
more oil here. And I guess I already have a lot of hydrogen here. Yeah. So this is maxed out. Nice. And what about this? Um, yeah, kind of maxed out. There we go. And how's our heavy fuel? Okay, we have a lot of heavy fuel. I want 600,000. What about um our super tank here? Uh, okay, we're not putting in enough. We're like, we're not extracting more oil. Um, so what we could do is get a whole bunch of diesel. Oh god, I see a creeper. Oh my god, it's jumping. What? Creepers can jump? <laughs> Wait, what? Since when? Uh, okay. Since when can creepers jump? How can he jump? Well, you know, I learned something something new today. Uh, okay, horse. And let's go power our uh, oil. I just put doors in my house? Wait, what are doors? What are doors? Yeah, no, I actually really need to do doors eventually. Um, real talk though. But I just don't know where I'm going to have the doors. Like, uh, I haven't decided yet. Like, fully? So that's another thing i got to figure out. <laughs> All the doors. Okay. Very nice. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah. we uh, Let's do this. Nice. So, at least I got some, uh, some diesel in here. And then we can go from there. Let's turn this on. Nice. So now we're increasing. I don't know how much oil there really is in here. It's still drilling. But hey, if it's still drilling, and we're still getting what we need, then fine by me. We'll just have to move it at some point. I have entrances though. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm just lazy. I mean, that's the word. Lazy to make doors because then I have to open and close them. Hmm. Okay, we have maximum oxygen here. Oh, we don't have any more black, black uh, uh, iron or black steel. Wait, we gotta fix that. Okay, so that is not good. Wire mill, extruder, okay. Black steel and get. Uh, now I need more steel, right? Because that's what we're missing here. Uh, steel, nickel, copper, gold, silver, yeah. You can automate that? Uh, automate the doors, open and close Oh, I guess that pressure plate, say. That's true. I completely forgot about that. You can automate it. Uh-oh. Do you know what else I need to automate? Steel production. Uh-oh. Uh, let's look up steel dust. Hopefully, I can find some extra steel dust here. Dark steel. Oh. And steel dust here. Shadow steel. There's more steel here. Oh, damn. Okay. 
There we go. So I didn't even have to find another uh, stack of steel here. Nice. Uh, factory doors are also really cool too. Yeah. I did Don't you have to make like a factory door maker or something? Um... Yeah, I gotta do that. Factory door maker. Okay, more plascrete. More black metal. More of everything. Yeah, like a factory door maker or something. First, let's do our floors. <laughs> floors, then... Uh, then doors. Floors, roads, then doors. Because um, the, the floors stop monsters from spawning anyways, right? So... That'll be uh, pretty useful. Oh, this is a lot of uh, plascrete. black steel I mean we need even more plastic but you know it's still a sizable amount okay even more black metal um so we'll, we'll have like 70 75 to process Doors, roads, tier 9 rockets, and then doors. Exactly. Exactly. Because we we are uh, going to do rockets, right? In the sense of, like, um, instead of going for bees or other things that are kind of like automated things, I do want to go to uh, most of the plants or all the plants in the system as well, right? Uh, it'd be really cool to, like, go to, I don't know, Barnardus, uh, Barnardus, oh, is it Barnard Star? Maybe not. Here, question mark. Interesting. Wait, did, did they add a new system? No, maybe not. We have Vega. Our Centauri. Okay, Centauri is probably after a solar system. We have a uh, Ross 128. That's tier three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it'd be cool if they they keep adding on to the Galactic Draft here. <laughs> okay, our diesel still good. Just keep tacking on everything. Now let's put it down the plastic that we just made. It's not much, but you know, it's something. It's only 17 blocks. From our clean room. I don't think there's anything in the flooring that I gotta really adjust here. Oh god, <laughs> already. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be... Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be a really clean room chat, you know. It's going to be really good. But still. It's requiring a lot of, a lot of stuff. But I'm kinda, I am kind of expected that, actually. <laughs> I expected that it'll, it'll strain my resources. Um, maybe I can... Get some iron here. Okay, iron dust. Um... Steel. Can I just do iron, wrought iron? Iron dust, oxygen. It takes a bit more time, but that's fine. Uh, wrought iron, coal, and I get steel. Oh, interesting. Wait, I get more steel? No, I guess I get the same amount. Oh, I see carbon would be used instead of uh, the oxygen. 
Iron, coal, and I get that, and I get tiny pile of ashes. Okay, so I guess I would use less, uh, less oxygen that way. But oxygen is cheap. Well, at least we, we use uh, we use obsidian for it. So let's just uh, do this. Yeah. Number 11. I guess we're gonna be doing that. Um, I do want to get a second amount of iron plates because we are going to do the uh, the flooring here. Vending machine. Then we need two things of stone. Oh, I already have factory blocks here. Uh, okay. Neon blue plating. Uh, do I have... Hmm. Do I have my chisel? Okay, there we go. on blue plating and then I would do um, my wand so that's gonna be necessary uh, can I put some things away here like like these two these things And then I guess I'll start where my um, where my ores are at, I suppose. And I'm using this pickaxe. It does stick longer, but uh. I get the, the stone back. Ow. Actually, I just shouldn't really care about getting the stone back. When I think about it. There we go. Um, now I guess I can use my wand. Nice. Oh yeah, is there like a tool that I can use to swap things? I think there is. Uh, decent new for memory game. We would you? What did you get? Memory gaming. Is that like the minesweeper? Is that what you mean? Is that, I think there's a Minesweeper right, game, right? The Sweeping of the Mines. Thumbcraft One Focus? Oh, interesting. I did not know that was a thing. Uh, oh, I don't have enough. Okay. Uh, so I have a, my assembler and I can do factory blocks. Let's see if that's a, a doable thing here. Okay, like so. And then I have this. No, no. Halt. Damn it. Damn these stone bricks. Um, hmm. Factory. Uh, 
And that is number 24. And I can just get regular stone blocks here. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd work. Kind of getting slightly distracted here, but you know what? That's fine. Because I do want that re reorganized. Um... I wish I had a chest here or something. Okay, put, the, put the brain stuff away, put this away. I can get more bending. Yeah, there go more iron plates. We'll just get all the stuff. Uh, post picks, auto chisel, and fine reinforcement was made. Oh, you have a, a like, like smog and you have a different uh, thing, eh? Uh, auto chisel? Wait, when is this tree? Because, yeah, sometimes I'm like, the, the, the icons look different. So, sometimes I'm like, <laughs> when is this block? There we go. That should be good enough. You use Sortex Vampir. The tree is peppercorn. Oh, okay. Wait, I don't have a peppercorn tree. I need to find one. Where where did you get yours? The UHV autoclave is called an epic pressure cooker. I also need a pressure cooker one day. I need in game and out of game. RL and in game. Oh god, I still need more. Okay, let's uh let's transform these bad boys into these factory blocks. I wish I could just like swap, you know, swap things. I guess if I had Thumbcraft I could do that. But I guess for now, we're gonna have to make do. You know what I don't like? How this door and this door is not really aligned. So my rose hill would be kind of like messed up a tad. Whatever. I guess I could just move this door, uh, maybe not actually. Yeah, I could move this door a tiny bit by one. I could do that, actually. I should do that. Just so, like, the doors are, <laughs> are more straight. If only building gadgets got backported. That'd be kind of nice, actually. That would be kind of nice. Schematica uh, for like what replacing blocks? I can't make it right, uh, Drados. Hmm. Amazon Warehouse Depot. Schematic, schematic. Schematic saver. This is seem I don't see it. I just see schematics. <laughs> schematics moon. Wait, you can make a moon buggy. Wait, hold on. I can make a moon car. We gotta make that chat. We gotta make a moon car. It has to be done. Um. Yeah, I guess we're just going to do that this way. Mm 
This is a bit tricky here. Like that. Because, you know, I gotta build all the moon things. Nice. Okay, well, you know what? We're, we're covering this a tiny bit. It's working. So I'm gonna do a lot more flooring, but it does look a lot nicer than the, you know, the kind of like the lame, uh, tiles we had here. The only thing now is that we're kind of full and our torches we're gonna have to swap. Or you know what? We're gonna have to make better lighting too. Uh, I'm totally not selling the clean room chat. I promise. I just got a little distracted here. It's not, definitely not my purpose. Okay. <laughs> Electric furnace. There we go. I totally would never stall on purpose. Um, yeah. Let's do this. Because monsters won't spawn here, right? There we go. Uh, and this is actually looks really, really nice. Actually, decently nice. Check the music. There we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll change all, all of our roads. This will be our road as well. Uh, just the roads might have like a, in the middle like a strip of concrete so we can go faster. And that'll be that. That'll be that. Okay, so well, I guess let's take a rest here. It's night time. Hmm. And <laughs> maybe this will solve some of the monster uh, spawnings that we've been uh, having, uh, potentially. Potentially. Uh, yeah, I guess I could do this. It is a bit tricky to place. When did I have a mine down there? Okay. <laughs> I guess it's an artifact from an older time. I was like, huh. I guess I, I mined initially. And I didn't even remember. There you go. I like two roads here. How many blocks have? Oh, I have a lot of blocks left. I have a lot of blocks left. But this kind of goes into our, our theme as well, right? These blocks. So I do like that.
It goes well with our future blocks as well. Oh god, we're full. There we go. Uh, we can kind of like uh, cook more of these. Nice. So we can kind of like retrieve the stone back, get more blocks, um, and just keep going. Oh, but we might need more um, more iron plates, which we can go and get. We have a lot of iron. Because again, if, if we have any uh, everything under like one kind of like pattern, I guess, <laughs> uh, it does make things a lot simpler for designing. Right, like now that we know that we have floors like this, then you know that's all we gotta build. It just tuned in. Schemic Schematica lets you copy and auto build stuff only accessible via keybinds. Oh. Um. But how do I get Schematica in the sense of like. Um. It's like an extra mod that you add in. Because if it's an extra mod, then I won't do that. Or is it an item in game? Because I think there's an item in game via Thumbcraft as well. Uh, maybe that's what you're talking about? I'm not sure. Okay. But also welcome. Except for Thanksgiving to the leftovers. Very nice. We what kind of leftovers? No, part of me wishes I had leftover lasagna here, but there's none left. I ate it all. Lasagna, gone. There we go. Wait, what is- oh yeah, that's the wiring. Okay. That is the wiring. We have more stuff here the torches are kind of boring uh i really gotta change the lighting chat but that's that's another process it's including the pack it should show up if you search scam in the keybinds or oh, in the keybinds um Super secret, what is that? Controls? Uh, load schematic? Is that what you mean? Manipulate schematic. Let's do a... Uh, um, wait, is K anything? No. The options, controls... Move schematic. Oh, interesting. So, uh, copying auto build stuff on accessible via keybinds. I see. So, auto build. This would be good for multi blocks, actually. Um, right? Because if you have a. Uh, not only that, I suppose. When you're, you start building a lot of like, things that seem similar. Um, yeah, that's going to become really handy, isn't it? I'm like, um... I guess, uh, like the Factorio and the Satisfactory uh, schematics. Um, it really is a day of tears. Uh, don't worry, Reiner. Soon. Wait, I forgot the stuffing at home. Uh-oh. Soon it'll be the end of Friday, or like you know, the end of work Friday chat, and you guys will be able to enjoy time playing video games, laying on the couch, doing all the Friday things that you like doing. It's gonna come by soon, chat. Do not worry. 
it will come soon. And I will be here if you guys need me. Because <laughs> I think we're going to go like, well, I guess we're going to go up to the original time tonight. But that's like, you know, so I guess like a very, very long stream today. Because you want, I want to progress really, really far. You said, oh yeah, the drilling rigs, that's true. Um, I totally forgot about that. Moving drilling rigs and then uh, a bunch of other things too. Yeah, I'm going to have to move mine at some point. <laughs> gonna, oh wait, this way. Yeah, I need to get rid of all these chests. There you go. Uh, I think we're going to leave it be for now. I, I've I've done enough flooring for now. Let's go back to our uh, clean room production. Enough uh, stalling. Okay. We're, we're going to stall the stalling. But, you know, still, uh, uh, still feels nice to have part of that done. Oh, we got more factory blocks here. Yeah, let's put the, the stuff here. I'm gonna stall the stalling. Okay. You getting sidetracked again, I see? Yeah. But you know what? This flooring is amazing. It, it really fits into this theme. Um, it really does. Okay, so the, the black steel and the steel that we're producing here. Right. Oh, we need more obsidian. Um, okay, steel, steel, steel. So let's masonry these two steel things. And then we need probably need more, more mixing resources, do we? We're running low on nickel and copper. Bring low on nickel and copper. We need more obsidian. Okay, there we go. Nickel, copper. Hmm. I guess we don't need to make it more wet concrete for now. How's our, uh, how's this? Oh, my God. Okay. Once again, it's full. I mean, I guess that's to be expected with all the stone that we're getting. these uh, more steel dust uh, hmm and I guess yeah more steel because then we'll get all the dark steel that's really nice uh do I have more dark steel here now yeah nice and we'll process them in this extruder. No, oh, it's not dark. It's not dark steel. It's black steel. Let's take away the dark steel and let's put it over here, uh, just so we don't get confused anymore. <laughs> okay. and this steel dust. Yeah, I think there's a lot of lighting options. Um, Gonna have to figure that out. I think I can light up the roof, maybe, um, and then it'll light down the, on the floor. That be a thing that I could maybe do. Okay, and also the obsidian, because we need more oxygen. So, ten obsidian dust. Really? Um, I guess I can do this then. 
have a lot of obsidian here and in our alloy smelter. This will go fast, so, you know, that's kind of nice. Yeah, this will go fast, and then we'll just macerate it, and then we'll have a bunch of whole bunch of oxygens and other things. Yeah, that clean room is going to be very, very, very inter interesting to make. And hopefully I don't blow it up. Uh, obviously, hopefully we'll we'll kind of like start hooking it up with that when we have a backup. <laughs> uh, right? Just so we don't, if we do some crazy mistake here, we'll have that, uh, that sorted. Yeah. I was actually thinking, chat, I almost did this. Uh, it would take a while, a bit of time to do, but it could be worth it. Because when are we going to have our A2 system? I guess it'd be kind of soon, eh? Because what I could have done is this. Um, move them all one and then have a item conduit go all the way in the back right and connect to every single one of these and as long as there's a a, a dust here it would automatically go into the respective thing right uh, respective box so it could still be worth it to do it'd take a bit of time um we need a lot of a lot of vinyl conduits but it would automate this whole thing right so it would go each would go into their respective boxes i could maybe put a bit more here um yeah after the moon i would get that a2 system hmm it is getting kind of close. We're getting there. So it might not be worth it to do that then. <laughs> uh, it, it'd be best to put our energies into the uh, into the moon stuff. Okay. And then when we get to the moon, then it's a two system all the way. Um, okay. So I wanted to make uh, more plascrete. So I need polyethylene pulp. Uh, we're gonna need more help actually so let's go get some more and then we need more, more of that black steel let's actually do that let's grab that Oops. just so we can put it here even though it's steel processing okay that's done uh let's get that polyethylene we're gonna need to eat as well Yeah, the making the NASA workbench is gonna be a big pain, and, and after the NASA workbench chat, it's solar tower time. Oh boy, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> yeah, it'll be time to to convert to that. I'm trying to make a, a setup, and uh, just because it seems interesting, I know I could continue on with diesel here, but uh. And I probably have some set up uh, as a diesel backup power. But uh, it'll be fun to do superheated steam. Okay. Superheated steam and then maybe after that like uh, go into like nuclear generation as well. Okay. You know what? I don't need this anymore. Um... We have a proper mixer here. And if that's the case, can I do this? Will it blend? Okay. Alright, we'll recycle that. Chemical bath, we still need the advanced lathe. Uh, we do need the advanced lathe still. Bending machine, we don't need anymore. 
Oh, I have another medium lithium battery. We can maybe recycle those too. How's our power? Okay. Uh, you know, our batteries still have quite a bit of power. I could probably recycle that too. I need, um... I need another battery charger or something. Actually, well, I, need, I need to make a better arc furnace. That'd probably be the most ideal. We can uh, mastery this boss nugget. At least we can get dust out of it. So now I made the arc furnace. It, it's great for recycling things, honestly. I've been doing that like when I get monster drops, right? Like the golden helmets and stuff like that. I just process it in there and boom. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Uh, did I get that polyethylene? Or did I just completely forget about it? I did, I did. Okay, so... Let's grab this mold. We'll fluid solidify. And at least get some... Help. Uh... And our dark steel, or our black steel, yeah. We have a lot of black steel, okay. We'll go to our extruder. There we go. So we're kind of getting what we need here. And then we'll macerate that, and then we'll we'll need to go eat again. We really need to find out that other tree, those other trees, because we haven't uh, we haven't progressed in Pam's Harvest Craft all that much um, since I guess like two weeks ago. So we gotta gotta do that at some point. Yeah, gotta gotta do a lot of things actually. There's a lot of things that have to be done here. Um, okay. A polyethylene pulp. There we go. That should be enough. That should be enough. Because all the plasticry they're making <laughs> is definitely necessary. We, we totally mean, need to make a big one, right? Go big or go home. Okay, more. Okay, yeah, more black steel. And that's pretty decent. We have the resources. <clears throat> uh, I I think we have the energy to do all that, so that's good too. Just gonna continue. Uh, you know. Do we have the oxygen? We do not. Wait, what? We don't have the oxygen? Um, is it because I didn't grab the uh, obsidian here? I, I didn't. Because I was going to... I thought I had like a lot of obsidian. So I was going to steal some oxygen to put in our polyethylene line. But I guess... Uh, I guess that's not a thing. Not a thing just yet. Uh, this might be good because we need this for our um, 
Do we make lithium out of this? We make silicon. Uh, which we do need silicon actually. So this is going to be good for our uh, solar grade silicon. Okay, our character is starving right now. Just get more oxygen? Yeah. Just, just breathe more. <laughs> just get more. And to be fair, making oxygen is pretty cheap. I do have to admit. I'm going to rest. Let's go and eat. Oh. I'm going to go and eat and all that stuff. Yeah, I think I need to get like a different spice leaves and stuff. Because I don't have the not yet, like not yet eaten. Actually, let's look that up. Another sidetrack here. Uh, grapefruit jelly. I don't have any grapefruit. Cooking oil, ground cinnamon. I don't have cinnamon either. Chicken gumbo. Yeah, I don't know what I'm missing here. Stony, bell pepper, okra. Yeah, I think I'm missing okra. Fish dinner. I need lemons. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how where I get a lemon tree. I, it might have been ICG crops that I need. I need banana for banana breads. You know, um... I'm going to try something. We can buy some seeds with coins. I might get lucky and get a water garden. And I might get rice out of it. Because rice will give me a whole lot of recipes that I don't have. Um, I've been trying to get the rice thing for such a long time. Garden bags. Okay, let's try that. The farmer one. Ground garden, mushroom, herb garden. Ooh, herb garden. That might actually be decent. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, we have more of that. Let's let them grow for now. Um, mushroom garden, I know we already have a lot. That's fine. There we go. Suddenly, these will grow. Um, and we'll get more food that way. But I also wanted to get... Um, not all of saplings. Uh, vanilla saplings. Uh, seed bags. Yeah, let's get a seed bag. Because again, we might get something decent here. Um, that we haven't had before. Rutabaga, gin oh ginger. Do we have ginger? I think we have ginger. Um hmm. Cauliflower. Do I have cauliflower? Maybe I don't. Yeah, so that's that's a, th so a thing that we're going to have to do as well, is make a huge greenhouse with all the different types of plants uh, that we haven't really done yet. Okay, very nice. And some leaks. And there we go. Um, hmm. And let's see this baked ham. There we go. Now we have inventory space. Okay, so let's go back to it. <laughs> Enough distraction. 25 plastic cream, that's pretty good. That is really good. Okay, so with this, we'll make another 25, I guess, or close to. 
Infinite side tracking, side tracking to the max. <laughs> uh, we are eventually, eventually we'll build this clean, clean room chat. Eventually. I mean, we've got the flooring done, right? The flooring is almost the, the biggest part. I guess the roof is too, but... Nice. Floor, done. Um, does there any... Is there... Hold on. Uh, does this show the floor? No, it doesn't. So I would need to check this. Multi-block, clean room, clean room controller. Okay. And I want to make like a bigger one. So I guess that'd be tier. Well, let, let's do tier three for now. We, we kind of like know, uh, do we need to put something in the center? Like a controller block in the center? Oh God. This is the top, isn't it? Opium. Uh, hmm. Hey, when is this? Hardcore Ender Expansion, Ender Compendium. Uh, what? I press P and this is what happened. Biome Island, Enchanted Island. Okay. <laughs> more stuff for side tracking. Uh, <laughs> more side tracking stuff. There, A. Uh, so if I if I lower this so I can see, so I just make the box. Uh, but I'm wondering if there's like some plas plascrete areas that I don't build. I guess the machine room controller is like the stuff at the top, the roof, at the top. So I guess the controller would be like uh like right up here. Okay. Uh, well then, I guess just building more plascrete like this. Right? There's no other uh. No other thing. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to build up. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need more Plascrete. <laughs> uh, How do you light up the... Do torches uh, make the clean room not clean? Because, you know, that's something else we've got to figure out. You have some auction here, very nice. Okay, steel, uh, black steel here. Because, uh, yeah, it's going to be darker there, isn't it? Dark in the cleaner. So hopefully, I guess we can use maybe one of those uh, uh, floor lamps. Yeah, maybe we can do that. To light, light it up or something. Okay, 22 plastic blocks here. Yeah, I guess we'll wait until the steel rods are being produced. Uh, yeah, making the, the, the roof will be up to. Because I need filters for that. Which means I need zinc. Uh, that'll be another thing. Wait. It doesn't show the door. How does that work? Because the door is kind of like this, right? There's a button and a door. Oh, and there's like a controller here. Okay. Um, I'm thinking like the, the, the maintenance has me should be right here or something. Or maybe that's where we insert things. Maybe the maintenance hatch will be behind here. Something like that. So, let's actually place the door right now. And, and we'll need a button. I guess. Maybe. Not sure how that works. Because, yeah, the button to open the door or something, right? But, wait, don't we not want to open the door? 
Hmm. And a clean room door should be right on this side. Okay, one block, the side, and then we have a door. Uh, oh yeah, the, we can make windows. Okay, open the block here. We're gonna have to need, need to make it a little, little staircase here. Can I make a staircase out of factory blocks? I wonder. Um, is that would be good. I wonder if that's possible. Let's just see if I can. No. Um, stairs. Crossbound block stairs. Crossbound block. Ice and lapis. I was thinking maybe crossbound could work well with our, our flooring. Um, hmm. Magic wood stairs, maybe that could be that be could be good. Uh, magic wood, magic sapling. Laboratory stairs. Snow stairs. Interesting. A compressor, just a water bucket, makes snow. Interesting. Would snow stairs melt? No, let's just do a. Uh, let's just do, do this. This should be enough. Let's use a stone as a placeholder. Furnace. At least that that'll uh, that'll probably work for now. And then when you know, when we choose to beautify things, we can uh, keep it as is or do whatever. Yeah, this is fine. It works well with the door, so. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I needed several reinforced doors. They, they told us to make two, right? No, they told us to make one, but I made three. Why I made three, I have no idea. <laughs> I would have three clean rooms. Or, you know, maybe I, I can make a reinforced door for uh, my other... These areas. Okay. So I guess we have pressure plates that'll be for later. Um, let's get back to our plastic making. And I guess uh, what I also need is the other things. The filter machine casings. Oh my god. And I need... Uh, well, if the filter machine casings are all at the top. I will need, like, what? 20 of them? more, Maybe more? If it's 11 by 11... I might need, like, 80 of them. Or something. Because I'm thinking maybe I'll need, like, a 9 by 9. So maybe like 81 minus machine controller, so 80. Uh, maybe a 10 by 10 actually. So that's 99. Yeah, I might need 99 of these uh, filter machine casings. 
Oh my god, that's a lot. Because <laughs> wait, it eight for this. And it's kind of like this, right? Eight. But then if you increase the tier, it increases by a lot. I wish I could like... I wish I could pull back on this. Because I feel like you can't see it. Or can you? Oh, oh. Wait, hold on. I found, I found a way if you right click and push up and down. Okay, okay, this is good. Now I can see the blocks. Interesting. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so this is smaller than this. So, I guess we're making it tier five. Yeah, we're doing tier five. So, I 80. 80 filter machine casings. 521 plastic, plastic blocks. So, this is what we're making. Uh, maybe not as high, but definitely, uh, yeah. So that'll be interesting to make. Okay. Uh, more dark steel. Steel get steel, black steel, not dark steel. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Uh, let's check on our diesel as well. We've been using a lot of power right now. Uh, so a good checkup would be good. Just to make sure that we have enough oil and other things. Like nothing's really stalling. Uh, that'll be nice to, to get checked. Because if we ran out of hydrogen or, or other things, we got to rectify that. Okay. That, that should be big enough for our purposes. Our clean room purposes. Probably more than, more than enough, actually, but... <laughs> That'll be nice. I was also thinking, like, is purple the theme that I want to go for here? For a clean room? Or should I just do clear glass? I don't know. Because we'll use the purple windows for something else, but... Yeah, a lot of diesel here. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the purple anymore. You have a lot of heavy fuel cells here. Uh, let's make some more heavy fuel. You mean like a stack of it? That could be good. How's our oil? Okay, okay. We have pretty much max out our super tank. That's really, really good. Are we, are we still increasing? We are. We are. Okay, perfect. And we'll just get that processed. So now we're kind of good. We have a lot of hydrogen here. I guess we'll just keep on keep it on. Keep on keep it on. Okay. And how much power are we using here? 510 E per tick. <laughs> okay. We're using one, one EV uh, thing with this. And this, this is not powering at all. Uh, what is this for again? Oh, this for our, our, um, our, uh, HV machine line. Okay. So I guess we're not producing anything. So our EBF is going strong. <laughs> very, very, very strong. Okay. Um... Why this fills up so often, I have no idea. Because there's just so much stuff in the system right now that it's getting backed up. He, oh, this is full too. 
Uh oh. I think we're running out of a uh, room for a redstone. Okay, the gold, the silver dust. There we go, not too bad. Uh, I don't know if I have the tin. Uh, the way we can do with the tin, we can do this. We can cook the tin. So we have that to make uh, circuits. Hmm. A lot of mag magnetite dust here. That'd be a lot of iron. Vanadium magnetite? Well, I guess I can get the vanadium out of it. Okay, more silver. More gold. Okay, that's always nice. Always nice to have more gold. Okay. Uh... Yeah, okay. So at least we were processing all this too. But why is this taking so slow? Like, uh, I guess this mace raider is just so slow. I wonder if, if I have it double the ore washing. Hmm. Should I make a double mace raider? Because so we've got a lot of purified ore here. Um, I mean, this mace raider is working pretty hard. Oh, we're not centrifuging anything. Uh, there we go. All the purified dust. Okay, well, you know, we can do that. I was thinking of actually making another... Um, Another mace raider here, so we would pull from this. We could add another mace raider here, and I guess we would. The cable would go. How am I doing this here? It would go up. It will go up to this chest. So we'll have double mace raiders for our centrifuging. Uh, but then again, our centrifuging is still backed up, so maybe we don't need to do that. <laughs> uh, I'm just wondering like what the what the biggest roadblock is and I guess the biggest roadblock is this yeah yeah I think another mace raider would be good but again I'm kind of getting distracted aren't I once again once again the distractions are taking place um, and I would need more con condos for that so I'll just leave it be it's fine <laughs> nice for now. Okay, plascrete. Very nice. We need more polyethylene pulp. And more black steel. Yeah, it's all about the... The, the steel processing here. Because I guess it takes a little bit of time. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna need more pulps because we have 29 and then we'll have 29 of this. So we're about at that, that stage. Um, is in the... Oh, solidify? No, we already did that. So that means either the polyethylene bars that I had are processed here. Or we gotta grab more. Uh, and we might need to grab more. Tin dust, asbestos dust. Uh, yeah. Because we sure as heck don't have the polyethylene bars here. Okay, so let's go grab that and convert the polyethylene bars. Side tracking to infinity. <laughs> infinity and beyond. Uh, but we also need more oxygen too. If we want more polyethylene, like eventually. 
Because we're... I don't want to say we're running low, but... It is getting there. It definitely is getting there. Please don't die. Wait, is... Do you get hurt the more hot stuff you have in your inventory? Because we're losing a lot of hearts here. Uh, yeah, flute cell fire. There we go. So it should be like a, a, a stack and some. I think. A stack and some pieces. And then we shall go from there. Hmm. This should be enough. This should be enough for our, our needs. Thirty-seven plastic feet blocks. I uh, might be able to make part of a wall. Uh, potentially, part of a wall and uh, some other stuff. Yeah, that <laughs> this used up a lot more resources than I thought it would. Um, hmm. yeah, we are gonna macerate these. We need to macerate more obsidian as well. Because we need more oxygen. We need more copium. You know, we need more copium delivered to us right now. Because we're kind of running low. See, there we go. Oh yeah, I can make windows. Wait, hold on. How's that work? Wait. Um, expanding it vertically is easy to do, or you can make it wider and longer as long as both X and Z match and are odd. Up to around 5% of the plastic blocks can be replaced with reinforced glass. Borosilicate glass or water glass can be used in even higher percentages. You can pass materials through the walls using machine hulls. Should I want windows? Um. Five percent of the plastic blocks can be replaced with reinforced glass to see into the clean room and check on machines. Um, maybe, maybe we do it all on one side. All the glass on one side—that'd be nice, right? Because um, how how does this work? How how do they make this? They put glass here and here and here, just to see inside. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of adding like glass, but maybe kind of like right here. I don't know if it, if it can be concentrated in one area. Because if it can, that'd be kind of nice. Um, yeah. So even like all of this would be would be glass then. Because if I if I'm looking in, I would have to like jump up to see. I guess I could have like an, a bit of an elevated platform here. Right with some stairs and then we could see in. Uh, that could be a thing. Okay, well. I guess I'll leave that be. I'll kind of like do that. Um, hmm. Kind of like this, and I will take this out. Because this is what I'm going to have. Uh, I'm going to have glass here. Okay. 
There you go, saving some plastic. Or other things. All right, I do want some natural lighting as well. Um, that'd be ideal. Ah, uh, you know what? No, we'll have we'll have light inside the uh, inside the room here. Right, I'm pretty sure I can at least have a lamp or something inside. Um, yeah, now I'm not, I'm not even sure if I want glass <laughs> so I can see inside the room. Maybe it might be useful though, because then I won't need to go in and out all the time. Um, because I think you can kind of like look through machines through glass, right? Or something. Um, like right click. So, I'm gonna have to make sure to check that out. Okay, now we need more, more rods. We, we need more black steel. So this CBF is chugging along, but it's trying its best here. We're going to need more black steel. That means I need more resources. I need more steel. Um... Okay, we got the nickel, we got the copper, we got the silver and gold. We just need more steel dust. Which means... Did I process enough steel here? I did, I did. Okay. I did indeed. Okay, polyethylene pulp. Very nice. They got a bit more plascrete here. A bit more black steel cages. Uh, let's get the rest of the red concrete. Because, you know. I could probably form the red con concrete into blocks soon, eh? Uh, that could be good for our roads. Make roads out of concrete. Okay, so uh, our steel is probably done by now. Oh, it's not? Okay, it's soon, soon. Yeah, this clean room is taking a lot longer than I thought. I mean, I guess we'd be done by now, right? If we made a small one. But who wants to make small? And we're gonna make big. All the big stuff. Okay, there we go. We'll get more of that black steel. Um, okay, extruder, very nice. We can process that as well. You know, ever since I, I uh, set down this floor, there's been kind of like less and less enemies, eh, popping up. I haven't encountered an enemy in a very, very long time. Okay, so we go right here. Building all the things. Okay, well, you know, um, yeah, it's making it a bit higher. It doesn't need to be, like, extremely tall, but maybe, uh, hold on. Maybe one more round of plascrete, and then we build the roof. Yeah, that could be good. 
because it doesn't need to be ultra tall because we want to have like some lighting in there too. So we're, we're making more of uh, the black steel. And I guess once we make the clean room, we build the stuff inside, we can make our EV stuff, which means, or can we make EV circuits right away? Because if we can, that means we can make the distillery and some other things too, eh? Hmm. That could be uh, very, very, very interesting. Because the distillery would mean would mean I could make a lot more diesel a and other oil byproducts. So we can kind of like start making um, those large reactor multi blocks, or uh, yeah, chemical reactor multi blocks. I'm thinking, and then we can, I guess we can go from there. I'm, I'm going to have to redo my, my diesel line actually, uh, when we have those multi blocks and when we have our distillery, because I think we'll look up heavy oil in our distillation tower. Um, Yeah, we have, we'll have several products here. We'll have uh, sulfuric naphtha, sulfuric heavy fuel, light fuel, sulfuric gas, and naphthenic acid. So, I guess it depends on how high you make the distillation tower. So, you know, maybe there's some things that we, we can avoid. But ideally, we don't want to have all of these. So, we need to make storage for all of these. Or usage for all of these. Um... So that will be interesting. Maybe we can make a, a sulfuric acid line as well. Uh, instead of just having, you know, a random tanks here, making sulfuric acid. Another thing to consider. Okay, there we go. Uh, they did say, okay, they did say something about glass, right? Um, hmm. If the cleaning room has maintenance issues, it will have a chance to avoid recipes needing clean room temps up for maintenance issue. Oh, damn. Monitor your clean room with a hand scanner industrial form information panel or using a needs maintenance cover and a redstone powered light or hair alarm. Uh, I probably need a hand scanner. Eh? Uh, that's probably another thing I need to build because then I can scan other things. Hmm. Using wireless connector for AE or trans vector interface to skip machine holes. Um, interesting. Up to around 5% of the plastic blocks can be replaced with reinforced glass to see into the clean room and check on machines. Um, reinforced glass. Because I don't think I can make borosilicate glass. Uh, borosilicate? Oh. Borosilicate glass block. Uh, Borosilicate glass bar, borosilicate glass dust, glass dust, and boron. Oh, wait, that's it? Um, and what do I do to cook it? I might be able to make some borosilicate here. Um, wait, it doesn't make, it makes fuse quartz. But how do I make the borosilicate glass block? Uh, in a compressor? Okay, I can just use my crappy compressor to the glass bars into 
glass blocks. Um, so now I need to find it, see if I have any boron. How do I get boron? Is that like a, a chemical, but not chemical, a radioactive thing? <laughs> Molten boron. Uh, yeah. I got some boron uh, leftovers. And that's UV. Fluor, bergerite, ore. Yeah, that's a byproduct. All on it, or yeah, okay, that's that's way above my 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 skill grade right now. Um, I don't know why I have asbestos in my my inventory. Okay, <laughs> let's put it back. So I need. Hmm. To make that plascrete. Oh, yeah, plascrete. Okay. Uh, well, let's get more black metal. <clears throat> also, I need to make reinforced glass. Then that's the only glass I can make that is decent. Okay. All the black steel is taking a lot of time. Uh, reinforce. I think I need reinforced alloy. Reinforced glass. Uh, glass tier EV. Oh. Well, that's EV stuff? No, okay. We're, we're good. Glass tier EV, but we can just use carbon plates. Glass. Or reinforced alloy. Okay. That's pretty decent. We have a lot of glass dust. I don't know if I have any advanced alloy. Uh, I might. Hmm. Cool. It's like a piece of dust I went into my throat or something. Is it, what is this? Fuse quartz? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, well uh, we have a lot of glass here. Um, hmm. I don't think I have any advanced alloy. Unless I'm blind and there is. Okay. Uh, so I guess we'll make some in our alloy smelter. And how much uh, reinforced glass will I make? Also, we, ha we already have reinforced glass here. Uh oh. One. Eight. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, we're going to need to make more. That's fine. Uh, I think that's probably good enough. Uh, we're going to keep the rest of the reinforced stuff in our chest. Uh, I wonder if for, for reinforced glass. Um, if you can take it off after, or will I get hurt by the glass shards? Because I think this will be more than 5%, right? All this. So I'm going to have to watch out here for the amount of glass I have. Cannot rest now, monsters are nearby. so dark it's so dark okay uh i was thinking like maybe i i do something like maybe right here i'm 
Right, because wait, they did they did say reinforced glass, right? Um five percent of the plastic cast create blocks and be replaced with reinforced glass, sneak to the clearing room and check on machines. Right, I'm thinking like just this. I don't know how it actually like will look decent later on. I guess the Borosilica glass will look a lot better than the reinforced glass later on, so. I wonder if that'd be under the 5%. And we're just gonna have like the reinforced things in here. Hmm. Guess we'll see. Yeah, that's the best I can do, I think. Because I think any more than that will be more than 5%. Got some more plascrete here. Uh, hmm. Okay, we'll do one more story. Well, it doesn't need to be that height, does it? Maybe this will be uh, this high, yeah. I think I'll be good. And then we can put the... Will that be... That'll be kind of like short, yeah. So we'll, we'll make it a... Um, we'll make it a bit taller. Because I don't want to feel like claustrophobic inside that room. <laughs> uh, even though we're probably not going to be much inside that room, but you know what? I at least want to make it look good. Uh, I want it to make it look cool. Okay, the reinforced glass can go over here. We can use the reinforced glass for our solar panels or other things later on in life, so that'll be nice. Um, okay, fluid heater, solid fire, we can take that. No alloy smelter. Very nice. Um, hmm. More black steel. Our ABF is chugging along as fast as it can. <laughs> we, don't, we only have one ABF chat. How many ABFs do you guys have? Probably a lot more. A lot more than one, right? Because I, uh, yeah. I feel like if I had another one, that'd be kind of nice. Can divvy up the tasks. How much oxygen do I have? Oh, zero. Okay. Uh, let's uh, get some more obsidian. Okay, obsidian. Six and four Vulcanus. Hmm. We uh, are Vulcanus big like the the. Uh, Mega ABF. <laughs> or are they better than the Mega ABF? Hmm. Better until you have unlimited unlimited power. Hmm. But I need I need a limited power. Do you really have a limited power though? <laughs> it seems like that's an, an unattainable goal. Then again, I guess those batteries showing more than a trillion power. I mean, once once you're beyond that, then maybe you actually do have unlimited power. Maybe you do. Uh, okay, alloy smelter, very nice. Now we'll just get more. So we can masturbate that down to get more oxygen. It depends on how hard you go on power infrastructure each tier. Uh, I I really want to do that for like, I guess the EV stage, right? For solar tower and stuff. I really want to go hard on that. Uh, the only thing that I'm wondering is 
how I'm gonna manage. I guess I guess I'll have the AE system, right? And I'll be able to store liquids, so I guess it won't be that big of an issue. But I was thinking, like, how am I gonna store all the distilled water that I get from like um, as a byproduct from those big turbines? Um, and I guess if we have that in our AE system, then it won't be too bad. You're going to set up aquarium turbines for early LEV when you finally hop back in. It's about 1.3 million EU per tick with a single XL turbine. Well, that's not that much. <laughs> that's not that much. Cue me uh, only having 2,000 EU per tick with our, our four generators here. It's not that much. No, seriously though, I can't wait to get to that stage. Okay, let's get let's get uh let's turn these into actual dust here. We need a packager, I think. Okay. There we go. Total packager. The bronze, we can put away the tin. Nice. And I'll go on all the obsidian that we can get some auction from. You have to harm some thumbcraft to get aquarium though, so it's not worth. Hmm. I did say I was going to try to do a uh, uh, thumbcraft this weekend, eh? I don't know if I want to. There's a lot of things I want to do. And definitely Thomcraft is not one of them. But I know I'll have to at uh, some point. <laughs> there's just, I feel like there's just so much more interesting than stuff to do the magic mods. But I guess the Thomcraft is a. Uh, could be really important here. Okay. There we go. Some more black steel. He's got a few very important items. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, seeing that more and more. Oh, is this stalled? This is, oh my God. Is this stalled? It is. <laughs> you know, how about that emacerator that we said we were gonna make? I can put all these in here. We're gonna eat the chrome eventually. Then again, the, these uh, yeah, these centrifuges are going as fast as they can anyway. So, but I do think another maestro is in the picture. Basic infusion setup is all you really need to get all the quality of life stuff. Basic infusion. Eh? Why do I feel like basic isn't really basic? <laughs> it's like basic infusion. 2,000 hours later. Hey, I finally got my basic infusion. Whatever you do, don't touch blood magic unless you really like pain though. Uh, interesting. They enough to so hard in that pack? Okay. It'd be interesting to check out. We're almost there, chat. We're almost there for a clean room. We're just gonna have to figure out how it works.
Okay, it's almost night time. Uh, yeah, it makes you wonder if I want to build another high up. I think I do. Another level, and then we'll just like cover. Like the, the yeah. Because one, two, three, and then we would have a car. Yeah. So we'll do that. So do something like this. This is our, we're building our roof right now. Uh, the progression now the mod itself is crazy OP instant mine 11 by 11 by 11 pickaxe and eliminated ores etc and 1.7.1 blood magic has an immortality sigil huh and I guess it'd be good if I was playing hardcore right Yeah, I guess like uh, uh, even like the these hearts are like hard extra life are like hardcore, which is kind of interesting that there's like the whole extra life thing. How long can I last in hardcore? That'd be interesting to actually see how long you would last. Imagine if your your uh, your game deleted if you died. You're at LUV or something, and then boom, you die to something dumb, like an explosion. <laughs> and you have no, no backups. That would be pain. Well, then again, playing, uh, playing with no backups is definitely playing around with fire here. Definitely not recommended. Uh, you don't have to, but it's super easy to actually cut yourself a few too many times. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Wait, I remember doing that. Uh, uh, that mod was in Septic Ages, wasn't it? Where you have to, like, stab yourself to put blood in your altar. And then you get extra hearts that way. Is, th is that what it is? Yeah, I remember that. I almost died doing that. Actually, I think I died several times doing that, actually. Because I had, I had made my, my altar in the Between Lands. And, you know, the Between Lands was <laughs> not the greatest. Uh, yeah, there was monsters everywhere. Why I made it in the Between Lands, I have no idea. Was, I was not smart. Uh, then you spend the blood to craft stuff for use of magic. Yeah, I guess that'd be kind of nice to survive it. Heavy fuel cell. Okay, we have hydrogen. We, we, we have some stuff here. Uh, let's recycle. Uh, what a bricks and how's it going? You got to LVV age in Gracting Horizons and you took a break. Now you're playing the Super Symmetry Pack and you're loving the extra Gracting machines and chemical lines that Gracting doesn't have. Hmm. Super symmetry. Uh, I th I thought there was also another mod pack that had like a crazy amount of zombies and uh, guns and other things. Because I remember shooting a chicken with a gun <laughs> uh, in one of my clips. Okay, I do remember that. So I don't know which mod pack that was. But I do remember a uh, machine gun and a chicken. But yeah, I'm totally hooked on GTNH, so that's that's definitely what I'm uh, focusing on right now. I'm hooked. I can't get enough of it. Okay, you can put away the stone here. Uh, maybe we'll keep the stone if we need to build up or something. Oh yeah, we need food. We're starving. Oh yeah. Also a few other things. Yeah, we're gonna have to buy let's buy these right now. Um coins, coins, coins. Let's buy the transistors.
And let's buy the, the farming coins too. Uh, farmer's coin. Seed banks. Claim. And then I can buy garn banks. Claim. Nice. Asparagus, soybean, Brussels sprouts, eggplant. Okay, okay. Some things I might, I might not have here. Uh, what about the garden bags? Can I get a water bag? Grass garden, tropical. Maybe this might be good. Let's try to get all of this. That, that's just like a Ryan oats and stuff. Okay. Uh, we just got a. We got curry leaf. Okay, that might be good. Can I just stick some stuff in the chest here? The stuff that I don't need? Um, you don't need the melon. Radish, onions, yeah, don't need that. Actually, we could, we could take this to our fridge, so. Uh, didn't I have, like, another garden? I guess not. Leafy garden. Because I wanted a, I want a water garden. Uh, because I think, I don't know where I, I can hunt water gardens, but I need it for rice. So if anybody knows where rice is, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. I think it is in the water gardens, but um, I don't know, I've been having trouble finding it. So that would be, allow me to make some good recipes here. Uh, broccoli and dip, onions, heavy cream, broccoli. Might as well eat that. Broccoli and dip. Yeah, that would that would be nice. I guess we'll just keep getting more more uh, seeds. Um. Hmm. We really have to redo our garden chat. We need to do like one row, one small row like this, of one different plant, and then we'll just you know keep keep doing that for all the variety of things that we've got. And we need to make it into a giant greenhouse. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. Okay, um, more oxygen maybe. Well, I guess more oxygen, more hydrogen. It's still processing it. Well, we're good here, actually. Nice. <laughs> Watch it. And there. Whoa. What was that? Um. What was that? Oh, okay, never mind. I understand, chat. YouTube. Okay. Uh, I guess that was an ad or something. Hold on. Let me refresh everything. There we go. That scared the shit out of me. Because I, I was switching songs, and uh, yeah, something happened. Okay. Uh, do you guys have you guys been getting that as well? At least on YouTube, where you get like um, unskippable ads. Because I've been getting that a lot lately. Usually I can do like skip <laughs> when I'm listening to my music tracks, uh, but uh, yeah, it hasn't been happening lately. Okay. There we go.
Very nice. Okay. Now... I think the worst is when uh, uh, I'm like watching a video, right? And then it goes right in the middle of like when they're trying to say something important. <laughs> when they're trying to say something important, YouTube is just like, oh, well, there I go. Here's a, a message from our sponsors. It's a bit bad when there's an ad breaks every few minutes on a video less than 10 minutes long. Yeah. I think it, if it's like, you know, at the beginning, it isn't so bad. Although like, like that just happened now. When I was refreshing, that's kind of like annoying, but uh, I feel like at the end is always nice, or when it's like seldom. Then again, I do it like a, I think a minute every hour or something, so it isn't too too bad, but it's predictable <laughs> at the very least. Okay, at the very least, predictable. The only thing that I wish, actually, you know what? Um, I wish there was just normalized sounds. I honestly wouldn't mind ads at all if everything was just normalized. So, for example, if you have like the sound super, super low, the ad would also be super, super low. Because uh, it has happened where uh, I'm like lurking somebody else's stream, right? I'm just, I'm just vibing going to bed etc use i use some some streamers to like you know sleep because they have good voices and um and then an ad plays and it's like 10 times the sound of like what i put it at <laughs> so what happens i get woken up uh, so i just i just wish that sound was normalized i think a lot of people would be more receptive if it was like that uh, but that's just that's just uh, how I view it. Okay. So we have the transistors. Hmm. The point of ads to wake you up though and be as intrusive as possible. I guess I guess I guess there is a point to them, right? There, I guess that's why it's an ad. But I I I feel like it would be um I don't know. I guess if you aren't paying attention to them, then why have the eyes in the first place, right? <laughs> but I guess there's like a, a fine balance between that and not be annoying that I'm like, yeah, I'm not buying your product because you woke me up here. So I don't know, I don't know what the, uh, I'm not a marketing major, so you know, I don't know how all that works. I'm sure there's a science to it, though. Because, you know, if people were more receptive to them, then maybe the ads would work more. <laughs> or people would be less pissed off. Hmm. Uh, try to see if they thought they made more money normalizing sounds. They wouldn't. It's probably true, actually. You're not wrong there. They probably, I mean, they probably have it down to science, right? Okay. It, it's like, a, it's like a, when you go into a casino, right? They have it down to science. Uh, I, I learned this the other day where it's like, because um, one of my friends was talking about uh, Vegas and stuff, right? And how they, they set things up. I never went to Vegas, but some of my friends have. And in casinos, they... Um, they make it so there's no windows, right? So you can't see the outside. So you don't see the time pass by. I, I think that's correct. So you just stay there longer. Uh, and they have a bunch of other things too. That they that they end up doing. Okay. 
You know what? We're almost done. Don't forget the copious amounts of free boosts is true. true. I went I went uh once, right? I I only spent like a I think a hundred dollars. I only brought a hundred dollars with me. And I left my wallet at home. I brought my ID and a hundred bucks and I was like, if I lose that much, well I, I was expecting to lose that much. Uh because you never really went. I was like, that's it, and then I go home, right? Uh, and they gave us so much free alcohol, it was actually insane. But it, it makes sense, right? Because you lower your inhibitions, you gamble more, <laughs> you have less judgment, etc. <laughs> that's how they get you. Uh, oh, we're around a steal again. Okay. Well, we we can uh we can make more steel. We can get more iron, right? Iron dust. Uh, let's do three. Four. Yeah, let's do four. So we have a whole bunch of steel. That's going to use a lot of power, and that's going to use a lot of oxygen. So let's make some obsidian. Yeah. Uh. So let's let's get some obsidian ASAP here. Because we're gonna need a lot. Um okay, alloy smelter, we're gonna need more obsidian here. Boom. And that's good for judgment. Alcohol is good for judgment. Uh-huh. Uh I can definitely say alcohol is not good for judgment because of how much I actually eat versus how much I actually should eat. <laughs> it's like, why is my stomach in pain? I mean, to be fair, I haven't had a beer. I haven't drank in such a long while. I would say maybe three years. I think three years without alcohol. Uh, I just haven't found the need to. But uh, but I am going to see some friends this, this Christmas. So maybe I'll, you know, have a beer or something. But uh, definitely in the past, I've definitely eaten more of my fair share of uh, drunken food here. <laughs> that was my the bane of my uh, my wallet. Uh, you stopped drinking for about the same amount of time as well. Same reason, just stopped for no apparent reason. Yeah, I was just like, you know what? I don't need it. I think it kind of like went uh, away with the territory. Um, where um, I, I finished like grad school, right? <laughs> I had a lot less stressors in, in some way, uh, and uh, a lot less people going out. A lot, a lot less going out. I was just like, you know what? Because uh, I mostly drank when um, there was like social events, right? Like if it's there, I'll take it. Like I'll take a beer or something. But I don't have any in my fridge or anything like that. So when when the social events like left left where when I left I guess college or university or whatever grad school, uh, well, there you have it. I guess I stopped drinking too. You're never a social drinker. I'm more like a yeah. I guess I'm more like social for me. Just like a. If it's there, I'll, I'll have something. But I won't I won't go out of the grocery store and like buy a case of beer or something. You know. Uh, prefer doing Kikona stuff in the woods by yourself. Uh, I mean, I've done Kikona stuff as well. Like, like, um. Tailgating, uh, is it tailgating? Not tailgating. The, the, the events where you go at a football game and just drink in the parking lot before the game. That. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called tail tailgating. <laughs> and though it's another term as well. How that poor truck survived, you'll never know. Uh, 
Well, some trucks are made pretty, pretty well. Some are have pretty robust stuff. Okay, all the obsidian. We need we need oxygen for sure. Now I'm scared, chat, that my uh, that the playlist I'm playing now will have like an ad and it'll just be super Omega loud again. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Okay, there we go. Oxygen. Oh damn, we're making a lot. Of yeah, we're making a lot of steel. Because it's every every three seconds uh, we're making steel. Okay, okay, every three seconds. Have you survived? You'll never know, America. Same. How I survived the copious amounts of junk food that I've eaten throughout my college days? <laughs> I'll never know. Holy moly. Uh, oh god, we're full. Yeah, I, I ate so much bad junk food. I mean, it, it tasted great. But not good for me at all. I'll I never really know. So wait, this is still processing? Oh god. Um... Yeah, I need another Mace Raider chat. Or else this is like a... You were, we're never going to process this completely. Um, let's just halt. And it's just... Uh, I know we're doing our clean room, but... It, it needs to be done. Or else uh, our whole line is going to be stalled. Okay. Uh, Universal Mace Raider, we need a diamond grinding head. Okay. Um, do I need a diamond grinding head? What else do I need here? Tungsten grinding head? Okay. Uh, well, we don't have tungsten plates, but we do have diamonds. Uh, double steel plate, that'd be kind of nice. And diamond dust. And diamond. And I guess I can use industrial diamond too. Well, I guess I'll just use regular diamonds instead of the industrial ones. Diamond. Um, and then... I I'll use the steel, and then I need diamond dust. Nice. Sidetracking is done. We're making the NASA workbench right now. Listen, I'm just getting sidetracked right now. Okay, so... So can you sign track a tiny bit more so I can catch up? I can just do one, <laughs> just do another giant project here so I can catch up. Okay, vending machine. No, I, I, I actually know I won't be able to catch up because it's, uh, you're so far. Eight. Oh no, I did a mistake and now it's processing all this steel foils. Um, okay. Let's do fluid extractor. Let's uh, just reprocess this. I made a mistake. <laughs> I don't know if you need to use steel foils. But we're going to make it back. Fluid solidifier. And then we'll rebend. Maybe if I do a number two instead. Yeah, that might be better. All the side tracking. Hmm. Oh no. A double steel plate. Nice. Okay, there I go. And then, um, what do I need here? Uh, we just need a 
Electric motor? Oh god, okay. Um, did I just move these? Or d do I actually need more? I think I need more. Okay, um... We need, what, Electrum? Oh, we have gold wires here. Do we have more Electrum here? Electrum wire. Electrum wire, okay. Uh, boom. Okay, that works. And then we have, um... I need stainless steel rods, but I thought I had, I had some. But apparently not. So let's make some stainless steel rods. Um, very nice. Because we need all the rods. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. Keep it, uh, keep in mind, chat. Uh, I mean, I've said this before, but from the 21st of December to the 28th, I will not be online. I will not be live. I will not be live because I'm going home for Christmas. Usually, like every year, I used to do like a... Uh, a... Uh, kind of like a... I don't want to say streamathon, but... I just streamed a whole bunch. Kind of like did some of those like super long games. But I guess I'll be different this year. Because I gotta go home. Uh, but after that, I guess after that I still have some more vacation time, so. Should be good. It's crazy because Christmas is actually passing by really, really quick. Super Omega fast. Um, okay, so I can grab that. Where is my wrench? Right here. Machine hole? Oh, we need... Okay, we need gold wires. That's fine. Uh, and that's all I need, right? For the HV Universal Mace Raider? Nice. Okay. Uh, so that's, that's fantastic. That's great. Now that we've got that Universal Mace Raider, now we need to plug it in and have all the things. Um... So I should actually not have this mace reader here. I should have it right here. Okay, so we'll we'll now we need to make item conduits. Uh, that is a whole other thing as well. Wait, did the did the volume change for the music here? It did. I have a, I'm using like an extension to like modify the sound on the browser. And sometimes it acts a bit wonky. Uh, wait, not uh, item conduit. Oh, there we go. It's not within us. A uh, small electrum line item pipe. Mm. Oh, I have item conduit. Oh, I have nine. Oh, nice. So I don't need to make any more. The item conduits are so good. Uh, I don't think there's anything better. It doesn't feel like it anyways. Uh, extract without signal. Uh, and then I would do insert. Yes, without signal do all the things okay so now I would have this is a bit tricky but I think I can extract from the top I think okay 
There we go. Um, and then I would do something like... Like so. Very nice. I would do extract and no signal. And extract, insert without signal. And then I would do a... I guess I don't even need to do automata auto output. Right? You just extract. Interesting. Yeah, so, so now... Now this goes doubly fast. Right? Purified iron ore is being purified. It's taking a bit more power on the line. But it's worth it. So now we have... The only thing that we don't have as a... Um, Double is the initial macerator, which is completely fine. Uh, that way, everything else won't get backed up. Potentially. Yeah. So there we go. Two of each. That's a decent macerating line. Okay. Uh, the other thing is, we, we really have to reorganize all of this. Eh? There's so many dusts in here. Maybe, I guess... I guess once we get... um. In the A2 system, all the dust will go in and, you know, be lost to the ether forever. <laughs> Probably. We'll be like, hey, why do I have all of this? All of these dusts that I never use. Okay, I know Condor right here. Um, so we were doing some stuff. I needed steel, right? Uh, for more of our dark steel creation. So, let's get more of that. What a hubris has a goal. All dust have a use. Uh, we'll just have to remember to have all the dust. But what a hubris has a goal. Hello, hello. Okay, uh, let me just do this. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Steel dust still takes a bit of time to process with this uh, mace reader. Also, do we have a coggers emote? <laughs> what, imagine if I had a coggers, but it was just my head. <laughs> just spinning. Hmm. That could be interesting. And have little cogs as hair or something. Because I'm supposed to have more animated emo slots soon. They're supposed to like double them. So I'm trying to think of ideas. If I could do as, as memes here. And, and I want to add a bunch of stuff to BTTV and stuff too. Because those are free as well. It's like all the coggers. The factory needs to grow. With all the cogs. It's kind of dark in my factory. <laughs> it's kind of dark. Okay, nickel. I can put the steel here. Okay, that's good. Need to get those flat lights? I agree. I actually agree. Uh, you're gonna need to get all that stuff. There's nothing on the list? Yeah. Nothing. Just get night vision? Oh yeah, I guess you could get the night vision backpack as well, right? But I want aesthetics. <laughs> I want all the aesthetics. I wonder if that, yeah, I guess the, I wonder how expensive the lighting is to make. I guess once I have, um, the AE system, I can just, like, automate that, right? Automate some light making or something. 
Wait, hold on, chat. Maybe you guys can answer this for me. Um, or guys and girls. Sorry, I don't want to ex exclude anyone here. Um, can you set a limit of how many items you automatically make? Like, for example, let's say you say to, to make this continuously. Um, can you say, hey, stop making when you have a, a thousand items in your system? Because uh, that'd be really good. Yeah, the floor is looking good. Yeah, we need to expand the floor, but I'm loving the floor. You can with A2. Maybe redstone comparators? Not sure. Okay, so we're going to need to figure that, that out. One day you'll return to your sofa. How many hours left, Reiner? I know it's really bad to count down the time, but I'm kind of curious now. Because, <laughs> yeah, counting down the time is uh, definitely makes it feel longer. But soon. Very, very soon you will be able to return. Uh, yeah, more black steel. Yeah, the requester in this pack, if you're not mistaken. Okay, the requester. Uh, but does that limit? Because I'm thinking, like, let's say, for example, if I make automatically make lights, right? I don't want to, like, have, like, 500,000 lights. <laughs> I'll want to halt the system at some point. Because uh, I don't want it to use all my resources. And I, that's probably what I'm going to have to do for a lot of items. Like, like item converts, I probably want to have them continuously, but um, at some point. I'm going to be a halt. Black steel, what am I making? The clean room. We're making the gigantic clean room. Uh, I should probably stop making black steel, actually. Uh... Hmm. Well, maybe not. I guess, I guess we'll just use these resources, I guess. Because uh, we, we have a, a lot already. Black steel dust. We have even more here. Wait, what did I do with the other black steel? Oh, okay, right here. You know, I'm making a ginormous clean room. Uh, eliminating stuff that way is more than when you get into the age of things. You just got batch craft at the moment. Right, okay. All the batch crafting. Yeah, I was just thinking like like later on. Later on if uh, that's even possible. Hmm. Yeah, I guess if you if we eat like on demand stuff. That could be interesting. I can do it with logistics pipes now. Interesting. I mean, I think we'll we'll wait for our A2 system because this. I feel like once we get our A2 system, everything is going to change, right? <laughs> uh. Like I feel like. I feel like they they gated the, that the A2 system, for a good reason, right? Because the whole game kind of changes once you get it. Um. But yeah, I feel like uh, anything before that is just like, I don't want to say waste of time, but it just, it just be different, I guess. Oh, we need more polyethylene. Um, okay. Let's get some more polyethylene, uh, things here. You can get them LV. You always want to play with uh, logistics pipes, but you feel like skipping it is easier if you don't understand the mod. Yeah, I probably won't understand for a while. <laughs> There's a lot of mods that I don't know yet. But I do want to learn. Hmm. Packets blasts around A2, benzene and oil. Uh, definitely all around all the benzene. You know, Smoggin has joined the Church of Benzene. I guess I did I did Diesel. Uh, Diesel is still very, very k corner here. Okay, tiny pile of carbon dust. Uh, 
But then again, I will do Solar Terror. And then, and then you guys can be like, that goddamn Solar Terror is blocking our view. <laughs> it's taking our, our oil jobs. Uh, seriously though, LV Plus is just a 2 simulator. Pack literally doesn't function without it. Oh, really? Interesting. I guess that makes sense, right? Because everything is so dependent on having a centralized system for, for everything. Uh, yeah, you have two hours, Ryder. You need to make up time because you had a long appointment back on Monday. Oh. So more, more, um... I guess two hours isn't too bad. Because what, what time is it now? 12.47. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad. It's almost 1 p.m. Actually, it's already 1 p.m. Holy moly. Uh, fluid set on fire. Or well, at least my time, it's almost that. <laughs> there you go. More polyethylene bars. I use each to the max. Most packs don't even offer that. Crafts require tens of thousands of items. Yeah, I, I think I saw like the Stargate recipe. Or at least one of the versions of the Stargate recipe. And it has so many items. It's actually insane. Even like the Giga Chat token right uh, it has that many things okay so you know oh, wait uh token are there more tokens are there more meme tokens or is it just no this is the giga chat token where where's my Ka kappa token you know i need mean, like kappa plants or something Hmm. Okay, okay. There was, I was like, why is polyethylene not there anymore? Oh, the, the entire pack is cap. No cap for real, for real. The entire pack. Whoa. Well, I guess, uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see how, how bad it is. Hmm. Need more polyethylene? Because you know, we have that clean room. And then we'll we'll guess we'll go from there. Cause we need I guess I don't need all that much left. Uh, for uh, our plastic blocks, I guess I mostly need uh, the uh, what's it called? Not this filter machine casings. That that's the next the next big thing. I think I need like eighty uh, filter machine casings. Or 81. So that'll be interesting. Please you be a normal expert pack to unlock A2, then you start your whole new mod pack. Hmm. Hey, actually, you know what? That'd be kind of cool because I don't think I've ever beaten a pack. Or even an expert pack. <laughs> uh because even in in Septic Ages. I got all the way to the moon, or, or uh, sorry, in um, Dungeons Dragons and Space Shuttles. I got all the way to the moon. Or something like it, but uh, I never really got far uh, further than that. Nice chat. We might have. Uh, there I go. So now, now I don't need the plastic blocks anymore. I don't know if the plastic is used for something else. I 
don't think it is. Assembly table. Um, I guess I could make the plastic box into, you know, for our buildings, maybe? So we'll see. Uh, you play packs until it lags too much for it to be playable. Um, do you have a decently beefy computer? Or is it just because like the, the TPS just can't handle it? Because I, I am concerned about that. I am concerned about like my, me not being to, able to progress. Even though I have a beefy computer, like, you know, that might not really matter, I guess. You play Project Ozone 3. Uh, I mythic both up to animated blocks, then you just can't anymore. Pack is a meme at that point. Hmm. But the meme is the best part. <laughs> uh, it's the best memes. You know, if I, if I look up a... If I look this up. One of my favorite subreddit. What's the... What's the... One of the top memes here. <laughs> like this. Can't wait to play tonight. I always I always feel like this chat. I get home from work and then I fall asleep. All the time. All the freaking time. Heels a bad man. Uh what up, Dweezel? How's it going? Missed you yesterday? Oh uh, I didn't stream yesterday. Yeah. I was busy yesterday. I ventured outside in the world. In the very, very scary world. Uh, hmm. What is EMC? Yeah, I need to make those, uh, those machine casings. Or filter, yeah, machine casings. Okay, so I need steel bars. Stainless steel frame box. Uh, oh. Oh my. Okay. Um, let's make the aluminium rotors, shall we? Let's at least do that. The aluminium rotors. And I think I have a bunch of it here. Yeah, yeah usually Thursdays are a bit sketchy for me. Like, uh, <laughs> I either choose to do... Oh, yeah, the, the things are here. I either choose to, to um, do some things IRL or I have to work overtime or whatever. So usually you can count on Thursdays, not me not being live. Uh, oh, my Rotus is in my inventory. I was like, where is it? Uh, extruder. So I need like a lot of these. Okay, so we need a lot more. That's going to be kind of interesting. Um, a lot of resources are going to be used to build this clean room, I guess. Okay. May I want to pin the recipe and count on how many of the components, etc. I need? Oh, for, for the, the clean room stuff? Yeah. I, I guess I, I need like... Um, I'll make a stack of, of each. Yeah. I'll make a stack of each item. Because I need more than a stack, so. Uh, when I want a clean room this big again, uh, because we can. Because go big or go home. <laughs> For the memes. Okay. There you go. I mean, I'm kind of regretting it now, but now I'm too far in. I can't, I can't not do it. I said I was going to do it, so that's, that's what I have to do. Um, 
It's, it's kind of despair and pain right now, but you know, it, it is what it is. Okay, uh, electric. Oh my god, I have to make electric motors. I have to make a stack of these. Um, stainless steel frame box. Okay, that's just like stainless steel rods. That shouldn't be too bad, should it? We need to make more stainless steel. Uh, I guess we'll see. And that's your point, BF. You did a 7x7 interior, three stories high, so you can't really talk. Uh, what, for your, your clean room? You couldn't even jump in your first clean room? Wait, how'd you build things then? I, I guess it, it just like you just fit in, right? You're just like super tight in. Uh, or, or do you just like control it from the outside? Is, can you like, uh, if you have glass, can you like access from the outside? Hmm. I wonder. Well, let's get all this plastic, even though I don't need it anymore. Nice. So uh, we're gonna need to make a stack of these uh, frame boxes. Okay, so we'll make that. Um, let's check our and the motors, I guess. Uh, that's gonna be oh Cooper nickel. Come on, man. Well, I do have lots of copper and nickel, uh, and I guess I can make some al aluminum rods. Even though our rod extruder is being used right now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need might need some more aluminum here. Oh god. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a thing that I have to do. Uh, Inomi, seeing you, you made two separate 15 by 15 by 15 clean rooms, one for circuits and one for bacteria for wet wear circuits. Hmm. Uh, so I guess you filled your clean room with, with just um, assemblers, right? Is that it? I guess it, it'll process really fast, right? If you have a whole bunch of stuff, <laughs> I have a whole bunch of circuits in there. Uh, I don't know if we're even going to use our clean room at the capacity that we're trying to use it in. Um, yeah, and that's the other thing too. I'm, I think I'm just built it for the memes, but I, I don't know if I'm even going to be using all the space. At least for a long time, anyways. That's definitely another thing I'm going to have to handle. Yeah, the output hatch leading to six super tanks and just dumped in a lot of dust and waited. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess it all depends on the resource you have, eh? Okay, I made six. That's enough, right? <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay, so I need more copper cables. You know what? I can make more copper cables. Um... Because I have that machine now. Okay, alloy cables. Copper wire, copper wire. Okay. Uh, let's put the copper cables in here. Because right, this is just like our, our cabling machine. And it's just doing them automatically. Uh, we might need some more rubber at some point, but at least I can just stick them in here and get the cables that I need. That was a good foresight on our end. Pro nickel cable, sir. Don't waste resources. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. N not. <laughs> I mean, wires. Yeah, the wires, Cooper nickel. Yeah. Uh, so we're good. But thank you, sir, for. Uh, checking up on me because you know the chance of me doing a mistake like that is extremely high <laughs> uh, I've definitely wasted resources before I need steel 
Uh, can we, do we have a polarizer? Did I recycle my polarizer back in? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I allow all the back seating chat for this game. And it doesn't mean I'll do it, but you guys can see all the things. <laughs> it is it is allowed. Okay. Uh make next rods, I guess right here, right? Oh damn. Um Let's get some copper and nickel. I think we're at the stage right now where we have a lot of copper nickel that we can process, so let's get this nickel, then we have copper. Nice. So nice we can put that in our mixer and just, you know, progress that way. Very nice. Let's have all of these uh, different uh, resources here for our the black dust and all that stuff. Okay. And black steel dust. Guess we'll keep that. There we go. Uh, I think it's like number one or number two. Three, I think. Yeah, nice. Well, there you go. So at least we're building that. Uh, extruder. Okay, we have more aluminum rods. Now we need steel. Uh, do we have more steel so I can polarize more rods? <laughs> I do. Okay. I do indeed. So, I mean, the thing is, is that we have the resources. We're just going to process them. It, it is a bit painful, but not as painful not as I thought it would be. Like, we don't need to go hunt for some resources and stuff, right? So, it's just a processing nightmare. Well, not really a nightmare because it's kind of fun, actually, but, you know. It do, do be kind of fun. It do be. It very nice. Microcrafting is your favorite part of GTNH. Like it just a. Uh, I don't, like, I don't know, I guess doing things manually. I do like that. I, I think like when um when I design my bases, right? Um I think I'm gonna make it so that there's some aspects that aren't completely automated. Or rather like kind of like leave some systems open so you're kinda of like still fiddling around with certain things. Uh, just make it more engaging and fun. I was thinking about that the other day instead of making things like uh, keeping the the fun parts and automating the boring parts or the parts that I don't really like as much. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I was thinking about that the other day and I'm like, hmm, it could be something there. You're one of the people that doesn't use those crafting station things that save recipe. Uh, like these, the forestry. Yeah, I I semi use them, um, but I also get it. I also get the micro how the micro crafting can be super fun as well. Yes, I do it too. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll do that. Nice. It doesn't really work once everything is an 18 step process. Well, the thing is, what if I can do like one step out of the 18 steps, you know, or something? Um, I'll try to figure it out. I'll try to make it so that uh, then again, I have so many things that I want to design, right? Like bases and stuff on other planets. And maybe like every planet will have like a theme or something. Um, <laughs> so it'll be fun to like do. 
as well while I'll chat with you guys. Like, what if I have a planet that's just like, I grab all the horses from the overworld, right, with uh, the golden lasso, and just stick, up, stick them on another planet. And maybe pl planet of the horses instead. You know, things like that. Uh, so it's definitely something that I'm going to try to do here. But then, but by then, by the time that I get there, 2.5 might be out, right? Uh, you guys think there's going to be an update soon? Because I wouldn't put it past them having an update soon. Okay, uh, wire mill, I guess I could do this. Uh, boom. And then I have... Some more magnetic steel rods. Oh, my copper cables. Uh, 2.5 is like a year out. Wire mill circuit 16, sir. Way faster. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Eh? I guess I could do that. I need to remember that, actually. Because I do one or number three, right? Those are the two choices that I have. But I guess I should do... 16. Okay, let's try 16. Oh, but it doesn't process all of them, right? I guess if I had like a full stack. Is it way faster? I guess it is. Because I make the big boys and then I convert them back. Yeah. Uh, wait, is it 2x or is it 4x? It's 2x. Boom. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to have all the motor uh, things. Yeah, it needs 8 per craft, so I guess like you have to have a full stack here. Which is, I mean, which is fine, I guess. Bending machine, uh, no, not bending machine, like not extruder, or no. There we go. So we'll get a lot of things here. Nice. So that should be enough for like a, a couple of motors here. Let's see. Twenty twenty nine. 29, that's it. What are we missing? More Cooper nickel, more copper cables, uh, more aluminum rods. Okay. I'm gonna have a lot of aluminum rods. Uh, so I need more Cooper nickel and more uh, copper cables. I can do that. And this is processing more. A warm mill. Uh, we'll do a number one. There we go. And I guess I can get almost get a stack because I'm pretty sure I do need a stack. <laughs> Uh, I should, I guess I should start making more of the, uh, the things here. Wait, not this, not here. Thirty-eight. Uh, yeah. Because, I mean, those MV motors might always be useful, right? So, making a stack of these might not be, might not hurt us. Uh, in the long run anyways. So yeah, we need more. We have enough for this. Uh, we might have enough aluminum rods. We need more copper cables and we need more copper nickel. So let's go get some more copper and nickel. We have more here. Uh, I don't know if I need to process more after this. 
Oh, transistors are done. Let's grab more. You know, let's grab more for that quest. Nice. Because uh, I guess we don't have the rest. The, I don't don't know why I'm buying transistors. Uh, in the sense of like, um, I don't know have the res uh, the the resources to build some myself. I think there was a reason why I didn't build any myself. I think it was a, uh, I didn't have tantalum or something. I can't recall what, but I guess uh, I guess we're buying them every time they come up. Okay, so I have more copper cables here. We should check out up on our diesel line as well. Uh, what up, Mr. Enderman? He's just chilling here. Uh, nice. That's two stacks. So it should be give us a decent map. Fifty one. Uh and more copper cables, I think. Yeah. So let's get some more copper. I don't think I have enough copper. Brown laminate, copper dust here. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I might need more uh, redstone storage soon. Oh yeah, and I guess I need to get my, my other miner as well. That might be a thing. Okay, all the redstone is processing. Okay, that's like fantastic. What about this here? Yep. It is stalled. It, well, we have a lot of chrome. That's actually excellent. Because that means I can make more stainless steel soon. Uh, that's actually amazing. But that purified magnetite is kind of scary. Uh, we're going to get a lot of gold, actually. And, yeah, still a lot more to process. Okay. So I needed... A, what was it? More, uh, more cover. Maybe a multi-smelter time? Hmm. Wait, multi-smelter to smelt like the, the ores? You mean like to make uh, ingots? Because I already have a, an advanced furnace here. It's working pretty fast. Uh, but maybe I'll need to do a multi-smelter as well. <laughs> hmm. Maybe that's what I'll need to do. Yeah, I'm not sure what a multi-smelter does. But I'm guessing it smelts, smelts things, right? <laughs> that's what I'm imagining. Okay, number four. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And one more. Nice. And then we'll turn this back to two stacks and we'll put it back in the system right here. Nice. Uh, what's for supper tonight? tonight? Uh, I actually have no idea. I had a big brunch, so... There might not be a supper? <laughs> Maybe? Uh, I'm actually not hungry. I, th I, th I honestly think... My lasagna from yesterday is still... Doing somewhere in here.
because uh, I ate so much yesterday. You know, large tub of spring greens and some chicken breasts. Uh, actually, you know what? I was thinking of the Caesar salad, actually. Maybe I'll have that. Something super light. Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, let's get those cables. You can see why not many get into A2 in this pack. You need nine other stars to make a NASA workbench, as you need nether star plates. Um... Hmm. Is it hard to get another stars? Uh, Smokin? Uh, do, do you have to do th Thumbcraft? Please don't say I have to do Thumbcraft. Uh. Hmm. How did you get them? Yeah, we need more. Uh... Oh. Where did the Kubernetes go? I guess the Kubernetes is over here. Unless I used it already. Okay, well, I guess I used it already. I thought craft is one of the better methods, is it? It's a painful grind no matter what you way you do it. Hmm. Scary. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll know what I'm doing <laughs> this weekend. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, some uh, nether star grinding, I guess. Assuming I can finish this clean room. We need one nether star to get nine. Wait, really? It's just slow. Wait, what's, uh, Reiner, what's in that large tub of greens, though? Because you want chat? I would not mind having some steamed broccoli right now. I'm a broccoli enjoyer. <laughs> Spinach and broccoli is MVP food. Oh, yeah, cheesy broccoli. Oh. Or even better, Craigasm, uh, uh, cream of broccoli. Soup. Anybody at cream of broccoli enjoy? Okay, final lecture more. Nice. Yeah, it's not painful, just slowing. Hmm. Cream mushroom all the way. I mean, I, I love all the creams of stuff. <laughs> there, there was a, a leek, leek and potato soup. And like a creamy leek and potato, potato soup uh, the other day at uh, one of the uh, restaurants I went to. And it was amazingly good. If far too simply for that, you think broccoli is good and a bit of salt makes it better. Anything more than that is gluttony. <laughs> uh, I mean, I am pretty gluttonous. I guess na now minus the salt because I can't really have salt, but the thing is, I'm not a cooker, okay? I don't cook. I just eat. That's my gluttony. I let other people cook for me and then I'm just, I, I give my reviews. Uh... <laughs> That's literally what I do chat. I wish I wish I enjoyed cooking. I wish I Well, it's not that I don't enjoy cooking. It's just I don't know I just enjoy eating more Um, Cooper nickel So, you know why cook when <laughs> when I can well not make but When it can allow other people to cook for me, you know That's expensive. You should learn how to cook. Amazing skill to have. It really is. Uh, the thing is, um, I, I've learned to look for deals. Uh, yeah, I've learned to look for deals in, in terms of food. For example, if I go out to eat, right? I get a spaghetti for like $21. Okay, and you might think like, holy crap, a spaghetti for $21? That's a lot. But what I do is take half the spaghetti 
put it in a container and have it for the next day. <laughs> so I, I portion the food, right? So it's actually a $10 spaghetti every, every day. Or we can make 10 pounds of spaghetti for $21. I guess that's true too. And to be fair, I am the type of person who, and I said this before, I could eat the same type of food for the rest of my life and I would not care. I, I, I would not get depressed. Uh, okay, that's a bit of a lie. But for the most foods, I would not get like depressed on, on eating the same type, of, same type of food. Assuming the food is good to begin with, right? So for example, I can't have oatmeal anymore because I ate oatmeal every day uh, when I was in the Arctic. And oatmeal to begin with is not the best, in my opinion. But if it was something like cream of mushroom soup, then, you know, I'd be fine. I could eat that every day and I wouldn't care. Uh... Got some heart smart cookbooks in the library. Oh, heart smart cookbooks. Thing. I mean, yeah, I've definitely been using some spices and th things uh, for for some stuff. I I've definitely been a lot averse for uh, anything remotely with salt and pepper, which has been fantastic. I've definitely been on, on a spicy food binge chat, which has been absolutely amazing. You hate to cook too, then you learn how to cook because you want to eat better food, you live alone, nobody cooks for you, but now you enjoy cooking and can make amazing food. Yeah, I need to do that too. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. That, that, or, you know, I need to find somebody who, uh, absolutely loves cooking. That, that could be the life hack too, Dweezil. But that's easier said than done. <laughs> easier said than done because that's also depending on another person. You can make 10 pounds of spaghetti and eat it for two weeks. Yeah. I tell you what, the pasta sauce you buy is probably 10 cad per jar. Really? Hmm. I, I wonder if it's really good spaghetti sauce. Oh, male is receptacle to whole flavor. It's not food. <laughs> I would agree with that. Uh, I guess like you, if you, the thing is that when I was in the Arctic, right, usually you would have oatmeal with other things like uh, um, cranberries or like blueberries or like bananas, but we had none of that. Uh, yeah. Well, we we did we did have some of that, but all the girls who stood up. Uh, uh, before the guys could get to it. <laughs> so we were kind of like stuck with the, with the bland stuff. Okay. When is it to be a person who can cook, who finds someone who loves to eat? Yeah. Yeah, it's easier the other way around. You know. I, 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 uh, I did not... <laughs> I did not pop the question yet, uh, yesterday on uh, to the girl I was on a date with. Like, hey, uh, <laughs> how well can you cook? You know, I gotta wait. I gotta wait and see. How well can you cook? That is my criteria. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your cooking skills? Oatmeal with polar bear meat? Listen, I had to eat all the uh, all the oatmeal so the polar bears would not get us, right? So when we're, we're doing research and stuff, uh, any piece of trash had to be incinerated. Um, when we went to the bathroom, we went to a uh, propane outhouse, right? Because you literally had to burn your poop just in case bears get to it. Right, so... Uh, Definitely didn't want to have... Oh, that's a lot of Cooper Nickel. Did I make too much here? Um, I think I was a bit overzealous in this. So yeah, definitely have to be careful. Which is why I was 
the person who was kind of like uh, had to eat the rest of the food here. Eat the rest of the food or fatality by bear. Nice. I'm gonna stack a mortar's chant. Uh, you were taught to make eclair and all that sweet stuff as well. Oh. You've been working in restaurants for 10 years. Believe me, you can cook. Hmm. Wait, when was your specialty, uh, Hubris? Uh, if you were, like, in a kitchen. Yeah, I... Okay, I said I couldn't cook, right? But I have one specialty. But it's super easy to make, and honestly, probably everyone here can make it. Uh, I can make French toast. But... F oh, wait, I have no power here. But French toast is pretty easy to make, right? Like... It's almost, it's almost like making scrambled eggs. Uh, wait, where's the rest of my stuff here? Where, where's my, my, uh, motors? Uh-oh. Cook a meal with lots of oatmeal that does not make a jack puke. That has skills. Yeah, that would be skills. Uh, you know. That definitely would be skills. Wait, where did I put all my stuff? Chat. Who stole my rotors? Okay, uh, let's just move the stuff that we, that we got here. Okay, these two. Right here. Where did I, where did I put my rotors? Is it still in my, in my thing? In my, uh... Advanced extruder? No. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you're terrified of baking too much? Last time you did, you put on 10 pounds a month. Yeah, I I, uh, I definitely regained my weight from the hospital. Uh, I definitely gained more than 10 pounds here. Because I've been eating so, so, many, so many things. I mean, I needed to gain the weight back. Uh... But now, now it's like, I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, Jack, you, you're, you're stabilized. You're at a good weight now. Now you got to halt. Uh, but the worst thing is that, uh, well, I won't say the worst thing, but a lot of people from work, right, uh, are in the Christmas mood now. So now they bring in cake and food. Uh, so now what do I do? I can't say no to cake. Right? I can't be like, Nah, you made this thing? Nah, I'm not gonna have any. So what do I do? Oh, there it is. There's my stuff. Uh, what do I do? Give me cookies out of the oatmeal, does that count? Actually, it does not. Um, I would still eat oatmeal cookies because they are delicious. Yeah, that is an exception. I don't know why having things in cookie form makes things different, but it does. But I, I like all my oatmeal cookies a tiny bit different. Uh, I don't know if you guys like them as well. Um, raisins. I like them with raisins in it. But I know some people really, really hate raisins. But I am a raisin enjoyer. <laughs> okay. Uh... Hmm. What do I need here? Yeah, I am a raisin enjoyer. Uh, you know, somebody said to save the recipe and they were correct here. Yeah, filter machine kits. Okay, so we need more stainless steel. And then we need to go on to onion filters and steel bars, eh? Okay, so we're, we're on the stainless steel frame box stage. We're at that stage. And even if, even though a, a stack, I don't know if a stack is even enough for all this. Um, that being said, with our mixer here, let's make some stainless steel. Um, I made stainless steel so many times that I still don't remember the recipe. Uh, nickel, iron, chrome, manganese. Okay. Nickel, iron, manganese, 
stand still. Okay. Um, manganese, and I think I have chrome somewhere. Um, so we're gonna go and get that. Uh, I do have more ruby as well. Uh, let's clear out our inventory chat, and maybe let's start to bring in uh, more of the the other stuff that we got. Okay, because. I gotta do that. Okay. I also need to check up my diesel line, so that's another thing that I gotta do. Okay, the black steel, stone can put away. There we go. I think I think that'll be enough for now. Uh the aluminium I can put in here. Let's get Billy our horse and go on to our mining area. Okay. Yeah, uh, chocolate covered raisins. Oh yeah, the uh, oh, what are they called? Uh, in Canada, they're called like gl glossettes or whatever. Uh, I love those. I love getting those when I go to a movie theater. They are amazing. Also, why can't I go up here? My horse is not smart yet. There we go. I think you're gonna bake a cake uh, and eat the whole thing in one sitting? Do it. But also, if you make a cake or bake a cake, uh, picks. Either at us in the Discord or on Twitter, or me on Twitter. If you make a cake. Yeah, remember, if you guys have some cool foods to share that you make or what have you, and you want to show off, but you're like, oh, I don't want to bother, bother anybody with my, you know, I don't want to seem bothersome. Just, just add me with all the food. Because <laughs> I love all the food. Actually, you know what? I'm super interested in, in everything in the, the sense of like, uh, people adding me on Twitter with anything that they're doing IRL. Like, I'm all for it. If, if there's anything you guys want to show off, just send it off there. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, well, we need to change the batteries. And we have this too. So, let's put in more of this stuff. And then we'll come back for more batteries. Is this a, a ruby thing, right? Redstone and ruby thing, so... Are you gonna attempt for me to make lunch? You guys made me hungry. Uh, that's a regular occurrence in this stream. Uh, yeah, it, it'll happen again. I'd like to say that I'm sorry, but I'm... I love food, so I'm not that sorry. Uh, but you know every everything responsibly, right? Uh, in the sense of like, um, definitely promoting healthier lifestyles. Uh, that's why I say now um, is very important since winter is kind of like here, right? Uh, I would have to say in m many parts of the world, and if you're more of the northern hemisphere, um, lack of sunlight is definitely a thing. And that can affect mood and stuff, uh, most of the time anyways. So getting even just five minutes of sunlight a day is really important. It can change your, your entire day. It really does. At least for, it does for me. Uh, so just getting that sunlight in, all you need is like five minutes. And then you can we can go back inside to our, our, our gaming caves. <laughs> Uh, that's what I do anyways. Back to my gaming cave. Nice. Back to the factory. Oh, or better yet, a cheesecake? Oh, or a, a blueberry? Wait, uh, yeah, I think it's... Strawberry cheesecakes are one of my favorite. I... I... I say one of my favorites because actually my favorite thing is a uh, black forest cake. 
Uh, yeah, that is my go-to cake if there's one at a, at a place. Okay, rubies. Uh, I don't know if I should put the rubies here. I guess I'll just put them here for now. Yeah, definitely black forest cake. I love Okay, all the crushed ore. Oh my god, that's so much. We just got rid of all the ores and now we're adding more. Well, it is what it is. Uh, we also need to... Uh, forgot to bring the batteries. We're going to have to go back, Jet. We're kind of stalling the room here, but... Always processing resources is kind of important, so... Uh, especially if we get more chrome. Okay. Um, what would be the best way to do this? Our system might stall a tiny bit, but that's fine. Uh, what I'll do is... Go over here. Um, sodium battery. Sodium battery. Oh, God. I would have... Uh, yeah, that's not worth it. This is the medium batteries. Yeah, okay. We're going to have to go back. Because I was going to take batteries and bring it over there and then come back. But then it would halt our whole line. So we can't take that shortcut. Maybe two cheesecakes. Okay, now, now you're acting like me. Uh, you're acting like me in the sense of like your eyes are bigger than your stomach. But then again... You know, we could probably keep, uh, you could probably freeze the cake. So it's not wasted. There, we'll grab these batteries, we'll go and swap them out. And then we'll come back. Thankfully, a horse makes things so much easier. Uh, and once again, chat, if you guys are watching via YouTube or via Twitch, and you guys are playing along, and you don't have a horse yet, get a horse. It is so much easier to get around. Uh, although, I guess maybe some of you already have um, copter packs and things. That might be even easier to get around. Maybe I should build that. <laughs> Instead. But so far, our horse has been amazing. Okay. Uh, I can swap this out. Let's get some more uh, rupees. And then I'll, I can make more of the stainless. Oh, wait. Uh, let's actually do this first. And chrome. Is there more chrome here? I gotta have more than 10 chrome. Oh, yeah, right here. 28 chrome. Oh my god, this is full. Okay. I got 38 chrome and 30 magnesium. Uh, and to make the stainless steel, I need uh, it's number number two. Okay, so I guess we'll be making that stainless steel as we move out here. Chat, I feel like I need to replace my animals. Um, I feel like I need to like move my animals somewhere else or something. Or, or um, I think I can make like baits or something, or something that extracts stuff from animals. From time to time, maybe I should do that. Uh, I, but I don't know if it's worth it by now. Hmm. Hmm. Something I gotta think about. Uh -huh, right here. So just... There I go. And I guess it's still digging, eh? Yeah. Okay. Well, we kind of use these two redstones. Uh, technically, I should mark depleted with delete. Oh, does that? Wait, hold on. Uh, I should have done that before. Okay, I, I don't know what is depleted and what is not, but we're going to actually do that eventually. I thought when, it, when I did this chat, 
like that, it would delete the the icon, right? Because then then it would have been confusing whether I prospected something or not. But if it still has depleted, then that's like perfect. Um, I think I depleted this gold vein. Uh, I believe so. We'll just mark it as depleted. Um, what else did I deplete here? I'm pretty sure I depleted this. And I think that's it. I, I might have depleted this too. Yeah, depleted this. The rest I think is good. Uh, I might have depleted one gold area, but I have no idea where it is now. So if we encountered it again, we'll just mark it down. <laughs> yeah, we'll just mark it down. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of the stream left. Okay. Uh, I'll probably get up and stretch in a half hour or so. Because again, we've got about, I would say, maybe... Mm, six hours? So some of you guys will be long gone, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to progress a lot today. Let's just say that. We're going to try to progress a lot this weekend. <laughs> we're, we're totally going to get to the moon this weekend, right? I'm totally not going to get distracted. Right? Hmm. I mean, it would be kind of epic if I did get to the moon. So I can do all the things. There we go. Now we can reset our food. Um... Yeah, let's clean out some things here. Um, like right here. Oh my god. I have so much stone dust. We, we do use stone dust in concrete, but... I think this amount of storage goes beyond concrete. I guess we'll see. I guess we can probably take a centrifuge to centrifuge the, uh, the stone dust or something. Um, that's the thing that I could do. White stone dust, yeah, maybe maybe that too. Um, that might be a solution. <sighs> okay. How's our oh, oh no oxygen? Okay, we can fix that. Uh, we can fix that. Do we have obsidian here? We can might, might have already. Uh, also subsidy and just not put it back yet. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, I might need to avoid it. But I'm also like very OCD in terms of resources. I I'm definitely in a, uh, a hoarder in some way. It's kind of like, you know, uh, when you're playing like a Final Fantasy game or something. And you gotta keep all of those elixirs in your inventory. Because you never know. <laughs> That's exactly the same mentality I have. Because you never know. Stone dust isn't a resource, it's a wheat. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, then I might need to, you know... I might need to find a use for, for all that wheat. Be nice. So at least we're processing that stainless steel. Yeah, we're getting lots of oxygen here. Perfect. Now we just need to like mace read all this stuff. If I have 64 of it, uh, 64 sacks of it, you can store the rest of it in a trash can. Uh, how much do I have, actually? Um, I, I think I have 832 stacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I have 862. So, uh, needless to say, my hoarding issue is a real issue now. Uh, and we're we're gonna keep making the barrel bigger. 
What happens if I actually break that barrel? Will I crash? Because of all the stone dust? Hmm. I wonder. Will I break my com save completely? <laughs> Only one way to find out. Oh no. Uh, I, I might actually break my save if I, if I do that. So, that'll be interesting. Okay, redstone ore. So we're gonna process all of that. Hopefully get some more oxygen here. Just use a dolly to make sure. Yeah, I might need to do that do that actually. Or or, or put a a uh a uh, iron pipe or something into our AE system and then hide it that way. Potentially. What about Akio san? How's it going? Uh, you don't really think all those barrels would be a hard lock? Really? really? Interesting. Like if I broke all these barrels at the same time? I guess it depends on, on uh, how good your PC is. Eh? But uh, Akio san, your, your name reminds me of a. Uh, when I played uh, Hogwarts Legacy, <laughs> which is super fun, by the way. I didn't finish the game, but of, of when I played of it, it was super fun. I might get back to it at some point. Uh, for like two weekends, we weren't able to play Graphic New Horizons. Well, maybe this weekend is the weekend, you know, maybe today is the day. Because uh, if you're as addicted as I am, then you might be going to withdrawals. So hopefully you get back into the back to the system here. <laughs> Dreaming of Gregtic New Horizons. I mean, it takes a lot to hardlock, does it? Okay. Well, that's actually good to know because I definitely don't want to break my save. There's like a few other things, right? That that they say. Um, what was it? Because th that's what kind of disappointed me in some way, in the sense of, um, was it multiple goals? I think it was LV stage or MV stage. Uh, the, the, the water stuff, right? The hydro stuff. I think it was storm power, how to generate power. Yeah, this. A warning though, there have been lots of mentions of bugs and even world corruptions caused by the hydro dam. I really wanted to make a huge hydro dam, right? Uh, I wanted to make a hydro dam like right here for my power and stuff. But if there's a, a risk to world corruption, uh, not worth. That not worth. You're still in MV, but you think the next uh, or the next of the next week will be the week that when you hit HV. Hmm. HV changes a lot of things. I think I th I feel like the game opened up a lot with HV. Nice for me. Uh, yeah, that warning is new, is it? Because I think it'd be kind of cool. It's a way it's a silly project. Is it though? <laughs> I guess it takes a lot of resources, but I do. Judging from my clean room, I guess I do th like things like that. And judging from my clean room. You good? Okay. He was ah. Help! What happened? <laughs> I guess he did not like that. Yeah. <laughs> what happened, chat? He was just chilling, and then he attacked me. Okay, we have more iron dust here. We need we need more manganese dust. Let's get some more manganese. Uh, can I get more manganese? I don't think I have the resources for it. Uh, the explorer coins. Oh, maybe I do actually. Um, I need sixty coins. He's chilling again? Yeah, he's just hanging out. 
we're friends now. We are friends. You just need a minimum of two more envy combustion generators to get stainless steel. Man, uh, that, yeah, I had a lot of power issues transitioning from uh, MV to HV. Then again, I was still on, on kind of like Steam, so that de definitely did not help. Stop. <laughs> okay. He's not chilling. <laughs> he is not chilling. Okay. Uh, content? Content window incoming? Uh, hmm. I saw th uh, when Thaumcraft can be played normally. Hmm. Uh, I'm afraid of Thaumcraft. I think I'm allergic to Thaumcraft. Can that happen, chat? Is that a thing? Thaumcraft allergy? Hmm. Hopefully, I don't get hives or something. No one can resist dabbling in darkness. Can I though? Can I? I'm more I'm more a fan of dabbling in in, in the arcane, you know. Kind of like my arcane mage in WoW. I would I would totally be a mage chant. I think being a mage would be a cool IRL. But too bad it's not a thing. Okay, crunch manganese ore. Uh, then I can put it in here. Boom. And then I guess we'll just continue processing it. Um. Hmm. Okay, you always say you got a diesel setup, so no power problem. I guess I have a diesel setup now, but before it was kind of tough. Hmm. Wait, what does the wand of uh, the focus of equal trade do? Is it really, really good? Because, you know, maybe I, I need to get it. I, I actually think we, we're going to take a weekend here to do Thumbcraft. Even though I don't explicitly want to do it. But I think I might need to. Just to catch up to the rest of the pack, you know. And then go side by side and just do it along. Uh... Even with all the quality of light I find them to get from Thumbcraft, the warp effects negate them and then some. Do they? Hmm. But wait, okay. Warp effects. What do you mean by warp effects? If you mean like teleporting, uh, that's one thing that I might think I might not do. Only because uh, I think it'd be more fun to find other transportation means. Then teleportation. Because the Stargates teleport, right? <laughs> so then when we get the Stargates, that'll be a reward for teleporting. But who knows? Wait, did I lose manganese? 14. I got 8. Shouldn't I get 16 manganese? Did I get, just get stolen from? <laughs> hmm. Wait, this purify manganese ore? Yeah. I thought I thought I would have a double the ores here. But they, they stole two ores from me. Very strange. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, they stole two ores. Um, so I start, uh, wait, starting with Thaumcraft in this pack isn't really a smart thing unless you have a stainless steel. Just minor flux headaches, venom friendly creepers spawning. <laughs> so you're saying I could have had content and laying eggs might be the most annoying, that or fire bats. Wait. What do you mean egg laying? Like, you get cursed and you lay eggs all the time? Is that how it works?
The egg curse. Can I imagine laying eggs? Uh, that'd be very uncomfortable. Like a chicken? You'll poop eggs co randomly, constantly poop eggs until you purge your warp like a lot of eggs. <laughs> so you're saying I can make omelets. So you're saying I can cook. Wait, why isn't this going now? Is it is this system backed up? calcite stone dust silver dust okay all that stuff uh, tin dust uh, it's a purified okay purified manganese dust 14. so oh we'll do this obviously instead of the instead of the magnetite dust um hmm but it'll probably go through the redstone first yeah, well, what if I do this? We'll do this one first. Because I need the manganese for my... Uh... Yeah, I know, I'll keep doing the redstone. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> that works. Okay. And right here. Tin, Arlesite, Manganese. Hold on, chat. Let me just, uh, I gotta blow my nose and I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back real quick. Ooh. Yeah, back. Back. Okay. Um. Well, hello. What up, chat? How's it going? How are you guys feeling? I did not die, even though I have no armor. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we have stainless steel here. We have a whole bunch of uh, oxygen. 
Did I put the um Oh my god, that's lost stainless steel. Uh we need more obsidian. Yeah, we have obsidian. We can grab them. Uh yeah, all the obsidian. That is a lot of it. I think I might have had a bit too much, but that's fine. <laughs> this is fine. We're gonna make a lot of oxygen. Because we need it. There we go. And that gives us a lot of resources. How's our, our silicon here? Okay, okay, we've got some silicon, we've got some sodium and other things, so that's nice. Uh, let's get the hydrogen here and um and bring it to other places. You know, where our diesel line is. What up, Jackson? How's it going? Hello, hello. Hopefully you're doing well today. You could try to some septic early game again. Uh so you're trying to find that elusive mod pack uh Precus without GTNH. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you leave this beloved mod pack? But also I understand. Okay. Uh septic early game isn't bad. What did you not like about it? Oh, to Tamit. Um, man, I can't remember what early Septic is. Yeah, I can't really remember. It's been way, 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 way too long. Oh, and check this out. Uh, uh, Jackson, Baja Blast. <laughs> the Mountain Dew Baja Blast. There we go, we can grab some more empty cells. And we should be good. Uh, you can set your game mode to easy and the rituals will be one, uh, one shot anyway. Hmm. I can't, oh yeah, the flute thingy in, uh, in Septech, I remember that. It wasn't it wasn't that bad, was it? I can't recall. <laughs> uh, it's been so long, chat. And honestly, like now the only thing I kinda of recall is just this mod pack. Like um all the other mod packs just like blend together. Uh if I'm to be honest. Should I redo my flooring? <laughs> I say as I get sidetracked again. Should I do the rest of my flooring? Because we're kind of close here. I mean, to be fair, I need I need more stainless steel. Um, do I? Hmm. I suppose I do not just yet. I guess we we were fine. A single machine, uh, machine for. There you go. We need to make all the boxes. Uh, the gaining of recipes in JI is quite bothersome. Wait, really? I think that's the best thing in Septic, actually. Uh, I actually wish it was kind of done in Grectech New Horizons. The gaining of recipes. Or at least, like, the. Um, how would I even say it? The hiding of the recipes. Um, because I feel like uh, you kind of like play in the age you're in, you know, and you don't really know unless I like look it up and stuff. But um, you don't really know like what you should be making and stuff. So you kind of like live in the age that you're in, and it's just more fun that way for progression. But I do concede that it could be different. Uh, Thank you. What up, uh, Gray? How's it going? Oh, hello. We're playing some Greg Tech New Horizons. Um, hmm. Wait, how many do I need for this clean room? Uh, I guess I need 30 more. 30 more stainless steel things. Okay. 
Remember the lag when you unlocked an age? Imagine what unlocking ages in this pack would do. Oh god. I remember the lag. Yeah, I don't remember much out of uh, Septic Ages, but I do remember the lag. Okay. But then again, I had an old crappy computer chat. Um, I'll, I'll, I said it before and I'll say it again. Chat, do not get a gaming laptop. If you're thinking of upgrading your PC, just get a regular PC. Do not get a gaming laptop. Even if, even if you think it's going to be convenient to like carry around in school and stuff. Uh, it, at the end of the day, it really isn't. Because you're going to have to plug it in anyways. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to plug it in anyways and stuff. So, um, so it is what it is. Okay. Hmm. Wait, there's a new Project Oso? Hmm. Project Nope Zone. It's Black Friday. What kind of deals did you guys get? Um, you know, I didn't get any deals yet, but if you guys know of any good deals, let me know. I, I was actually thinking of getting a new winter coat, uh, actually, for the Black Friday deal. I, I'm guessing it's all weekend, right? So I was thinking maybe going on Sunday and because it's like Black Friday, Black Weekend, whatever. Uh, I was thinking of getting a code on Sunday. Potentially. Or maybe getting one online. Mm. If I can find a nice one. Super pleasure to, uh, for you to be on your stream channel. as well maintained and up to date. It's awesome. Indeed it is. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, it is indeed up to date. I also have a YouTube chat for all of you who don't know. I do have a YouTube. Uh, so that is almost up to date. Uh, I still need to put Chrono Trigger on there. But we're up to date on the Minecraft. I sit up until 5 a.m. to check out deals online. You got a wireless, a bagless vacuum, wireless headphones, and a limited edition PS5. Wait, PS5s exist? I thought that was just a myth. PlayStation 5s exist. <laughs> Lies. Okay. You, you didn't get anything, Hubris? Fair. Yeah, if you don't need anything, I guess, you know. But I, I do need a wireless headset, headset actually. Uh, actually, my work allows me to get a headset. And they can refund me, so... I might actually get that. Uh, I would suggest you add any animated characters on your channel, like a VTuber models. Uh, I'm not interested right now. Uh, I already have an artist and stuff, you know. But, uh, maybe, maybe one day I will, I could do a VTuber thing. <laughs> it could be a fun, fun thing to do when I don't want to be on cam, but, uh, right now I think we're good. Yeah, I have a dedicated art artist that does, uh, things when she can. Yeah, PS5 is creeping out too, but what? When? Uh, when is Nintendo Switch 2? You know, when's that gonna come out? Nintendo Switch 2 when? Because I need. Okay. Uh, but uh, Luna Gray, just so you know, um, how should I put this? Uh, uh nicely. Uh, a lot of streamers don't like it when artists come into other people's channels asking for. You know, do you need to do artwork? <laughs> it's uh, it's becoming more and more prevalent, and a lot of streamers don't like it. So just so you know, uh, yeah, because usually people will go out to 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 seek those things, but kind of like advertising it in a bunch of different channels all the time. Because I've had that happen a lot in over my time of streaming. Right, I think maybe over a hundred people have asked me. Uh, so just so you know, it kind of strains the, the, the artist to streamer relationship if you're trying to get clients here. I think it's better like over Twitter or things like that, but, uh, just so you know. 
Uh, create a spine, but in a pack, the pack should be about and around create. I've heard bad things and good things about create. I feel like some people have been annoyed about create. Um, and uh, I guess it's because it's used in everything. Does that make sense? Because uh, there's no variety beyond create in the later things. I'm only re rehashing what I've heard on the uh, Feed the Beast Reddit. Subreddit. <laughs> so I could be wrong. Between April 2024 to March 2025 is switched to. So next some next year, I guess. I guess next year would be it. I got like 400 games on the Switch. Uh, I don't have that many games, but it's I guess it's getting there. Not as much as my Steam library, of course. Um, I I just like the the Switch so much because you can play in bed. When I'm sick, it's like a great place to to think to use. When I travel, uh, Switch is my my go-to, you know. So I definitely would like to have version two here. Why do I have Glockenite dust um, in my thing? Okay. Does anyone have a good diagram for Plantland? You have not been able to find much online. Um, hold on. I don't know if this is good though, uh, Dizzler, okay? I don't know if this is good. I would confirm with the uh, GTNH Discord because they, they are knowledgeable, but... right here uh, or maybe hubris has a thing too but if you look at flow charts right there's actually a plat line uh like i give you a link to this right they have ore processing plat line i don't know if this is up to date but they kind of like have, have a a flow of it it seems really really crazy um but that might help uh wait if you uh, whisper to me hubris or on Discord or that, and I'll, I'll repost it. But yeah, uh, if, if you guys want to link something, just whisper me and I'll, I'll repost it. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Let me take a look at this too. So this... What is this? Iridium? Wait, what? <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay, so there's a platinum line. Palladium line. Okay, okay. Machine process, process input, output. You know, those are kind of like nicely made, actually. Whoever, whoever designs this is uh, definitely a process engineer or something. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that. Okay. He doesn't know chat. Uh he doesn't know. Hmm. So I was trying to have seen it weren't great. The one he was linked is really good. Okay. So there I go. Pog resources. I mean I'm gonna try to do it on my own, right? So I'm, for me I'm gonna try not to follow a guide. And then you'll see that this huge spaghetti monstrosity. Um, but then, you know, we, maybe you can refine it. Maybe we can refine and then see. <laughs> uh, spaghetti monstrosity. Okay. Hold on, chat. Let me, let me, uh, here we have this stainless steel. Let me get back to this. 